Welcome to Blitzball Blitz, presented by DraftKings. I'm Jack Duell, here with Peter Moylan. He's played, he's coached, he's boothed, and today he's also boothing, but live at Billy's. We are boothing live at Billy's. We are boothing. Everybody's boothing, and everybody's playing live at Billy's. What, a, what an event, what a place. This is ridiculous. So for people tuning in now, and thanks for tuning in, we shall say, there, this is a bar. We are in a bar in the Bronx filled with <laughs> what looks like about 700,000 people. Feels like look, that. Feels like that. That's accurate. And we're going to send it out to pass to get a vibe on the floor and talk to Jimmy before their first game in the play-in game baggage first hook line. What do you got, Pax? Jimmy, first of all, I got to start by asking. The event's happening. We're live at Billy's. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm starting to get a little nervous. You know, Jake and I did our uh, pregame nervous peas. Uh, a lot of baggage jerseys in the crowd. So I feel like I have to, uh, you know, win for them. And I've never had to feel that way before. I like that. I like the pressure. So you're going up against hook line sinkers today. Dan Canobio is going to be on the mound. How are you going to shut them down and get out of this playing game? Well, Dan had to take a red eye from Vegas last night, so we're just banking on him being tired and gas and just enjoying the whole experience so much that he doesn't really care about winning. I love that. Back to you guys in the booth. I'm going to go find Jolly Olive. This is a thank you, Pax, beforehand. I mean, let's give credit to Pax out well there. Well done. Well done, Pax. Well done, everybody. Very well done. This is, oh, I'm a look a little bit shorter than you. That's unfortunate. Sorry. But we'll it's fine. Two big leaguers in the booth. Two big leaguers. We're going to go over to Pax now with the other half of this game, the Jolly Olive, the home run king, the J-Man Big Bomb Guy. What do you got? Jack Doyle is saying so many weird nicknames for you, so we're not going to get into that. You're going up against baggage. Last time we saw them, it was, uh, it was an interesting game. Put you in the five seed. So how are you going to pull out a victory and get out of this play-in? You know, this is the most important game I've ever played in my life, obviously. There's a crowd here. I've never been good enough to play in front of a crowd before. So wow. thank you guys for showing out. Uh, the hook line sinkers banner is somewhere in the background. You just can't see it on the camera. So don't, don't worry about that. But you know, same game plan. Dan's going to throw up a zero. Maybe I'll hit a homer and uh, we'll go from there. I love that confidence. Back to you in the booth. Now, Peter, this is a historic rivalry in the warehouse now at Billy's. The last time these two teams met up, I think Jolly only needed to see three pitches before hitting the walk-off homer. Correct. What do you think this game's going to be like? I think it's going to be about controlling the nerves. This is the biggest thing about an arena like this. this is the first time everybody's played in front of a crowd. So who can control their nerves the quickest? I think hook line's going to do that. Do you have any strategies? you played in some big games. I have played in some big games. I used to just hit and hope a lot of the time. I'd walk in, close my eyes, and just hope that I could get the job done. There was no strategy to it. Right. Just calm yourself down, breathe through your eyelids, that sort of thing. Just natural instinct. Yeah. I think my lean is going baggage. They're in the Bronx. That's kind of their home. Right. Jake but looks fit. Jake does look fit. Jake, I'm... Jake's mother and wife are in the crowd. That's that's added pressure, though. You know. It is. Well, it's one added pressure for each, but two, it's like a double negative situation. Okay. I like it, that. That's my thought. The crowd is getting active. The so, it was called a cage match earlier by Joe's McFly. Yeah. I do get that feeling. There is a wonderful-looking fence surrounding and keeping the crowd at bay, but it does feel a little bit like they are performing yeah. at a zoo. It's the Bronx Zoo, and we're caging in Jake the Animal. 65 on his first warm-up pitch, Swing and you and can't teach already. that natural talent. Swing and misses already. I do like that he's gone with a different shoe approach and the high pants minus the socks. Right. That's a different look. When you have calves that are as impressive as that, yeah. I think it's important that you show them off. And when you're playing on concrete, you really just want to scrape up your calves as much as you can. I have not played a lot of games on concrete. Right. It's how, rare. how is that as far as knees, ankles, general... Shoulders, heads, and toes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hurts. That hurts really bad. Recovery? Yeah. The lower back, the lower back is hurting. Now we're going to kick it over to me, who's going to give you the bracket update presented by DraftKings. This is a one-inning, two-out play-in game. Hook line versus baggage. The winner will move on to face your 4 0 one seed, Nikki Cass and Dalton Feely. Hopping over to the other side of the bracket, we got my very own Wigged Ice going up against Pinstripe. The winner of that will move on to the championship. Full day of Blitzball, and I think maybe the most even we've seen these teams. Anything could happen because the ceiling is a pinball machine. That's exactly what I was just thinking. You guys have become quite accustomed to that warehouse. I've seen Zoe turn into one of the greatest fielders that's ever played in that warehouse. Yeah. This is the unknown. There's a lot of vents up there. There's a lot of air conditioning. There's a lot of lighting. There's a lot of unknown. Yeah. That brick wall, yeah, sure. But everything else is going to bounce any way it wants. It's an elect electrician's dream up there. There's it's a catwalk. There's a, I think that's a 
HVAC. It's an electrician's and a landscape photographer's dream up there. Yes. Absolutely. And I was taking some BP before the game because we're playing next game. Stay tuned for that. And the ball can go all the way up and then, boom, right back to home plate. And it's a foul ball. Devastating. Why, why do you think the ball flies so much more in this warehouse compared to... I've seen guys take full swings and it hasn't been out of fly yeah. like it does here. Uh, Jiminy, Jimmy, Jiminy Cricket. Jiminy Cricket's yeah. good. Yep. I was talking with him earlier on a lily pad, and we were saying the air could be thinner. Okay. I'm feeling here. that a little bit. Yeah. It might be the fact that I've already had a drink at 10.30, but... That's true. That, yeah. That's probably not it. Let's not forget that. We are in a bar. We're playing baseball in a baseball bar. This yep. is amazing. Thanks to everyone who showed out in person and on the stream. It's going to be a great viewing experience for both. And hit that like button and subscribe. I think we're going to send it down to Pax. We got a special ceremonial first pitch. We're doing it all here, folks. Pax, what do you got? I'm here with David, the first ever ceremonial first pitch in a blitzball game. How are you feeling? Uh, they told me not to bounce it. OK. OK, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're going to get the ball from Justin Pinnock. Maybe. There we go. All right, best of luck. Nice. That wow. was thrilling. Had some heat on that. Did it ever? Maybe send him, a, send him a one-day contract, get him on two. We got eyes for the next tourney. Hook line is hitting first. Storyline to watch for in this game. Dan did not get a hit all season. Dan did not get a hit all season. Dan did not get a hit all season. But he might today. Dan is going maybe get a hit today. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're going to hope he feeds off the crowd energy I and his dad. Are you feeding off it? I'm feeding off it. A little it. hungry, but I could feed off something else if this yeah. is bringing any bagels or anything well, around. The seven drinks you had already might be. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. 20 seconds till game time. Baggage is in the field looking sheepish a little, but confident at, what, at what their is, What does that actually mean? Sheepish? Yeah. Um, ba you ba? Does it mean you're just standing around hairy? You're standing around Harry and Gray. Okay. Let's go. We're down. This is the first ever live blitz ball game. First pitch is seconds away. Jolly Olive will lead off the home run king against Baggers' oh. very own Jake Story Alley. He's gone the Griffey Jr. hat backwards approach already. I love that. He looks that. exactly like Ken Griffey. How do we Senior. feel about our safety right here? Are we feel, feeling good about um, that? <laughs> Storyline to watch. We might okay. die. I'm just going to go ahead and block down first a lot. First pitch by Story Alley. Oh, my goodness! Oh! That's all he does! That's all he does! That will be a double as it did not go past the red beam, but a bomb, and Jolly's getting the crowd into it. He did tell me he was going to swing first pitch. Jake just laid one in there. Jolly said, no, thank you. I'm taking full wow. advantage. Well, set the stage. How about Jolly? Feet away from a homer. That will be a double, a leadoff double. Absolute missile off the red pole. Wow. I don't think I've ever said that in my life before. <laughs> Yes, cool thing. We have uh, two <laughs> foul balls. One's yellow and one's red. There's the red one. Oh, it's beautiful. And the lovely fans. Jake, got to be a little shaken up after that. The second pitch of the game on the way. Oh, good pitch. Wow. Nice location. Way to come back. You know Dan likes to take. Yes. There was mention of a red-eye flight back from the fight last night. Yeah. So there could be some, some trouble seeing. Just hit the one in the middle, big boy. <laughs> Story Alley with the third pitch of the game. Are we counting? Foul back. Are we just going to count every... Is that... Okay. I think that's what you do, right? Okay, sure. Uh, I'll, I will make sure I write down... Yeah, let's get a tally uh, going. Can we get a... That's the third pitch. Yeah, we don't I'll, have markers I'll just here. hold it up. 0-2 oh, count. Dan's down quick. The game... The name of the game is going to be Balls in Play. This is much bigger than the actual warehouse. Story out of the 0-2. Oh, Spikes it. 70. Once again, 70 will be a redo. 71 and 72 also a redo. 73 and above, an automatic ball. Level the playing field a little. The old chance rain in. Similar ages, though, I think. Bout into the zone. That is strike three. And he likes it. Likes it. Oh, good fist bump from the boys, too. No hesitation, just a good fist bump. Let's take a look at that pitch. I feel like that was 68 middle middle, and he just beat Dan. Little run on it. He sure did. Might have got under it a little bit. I was telling... Kenobi earlier, he needed to stay back and he just didn't listen. You've got to stay back. You've got to stay back a little bit. He's locked in. He now he's ready. Jolly. The inning, the inning is half over. 
Ooh. Hits him. And you got to think that's on purpose. I think so. Send a message. All right. He looked comfortable. He, he looked comfortable. If, if these two fought, it would look like a it, couple mice in your head. It'd be a cuddle fest. It'd be an absolute cuddle fest. We got a man on second. One down. And this is a two out game. So, so that means that this double. is uh, the last out of the inning. This is the last out of the inning. And here's Story Ellie's seventh pitch. This is again. 69, he's pumping. You know what I, I am finding? At the warehouse, I watch the, the screen a lot, mm. and then I react to the, the hit the ball in play. Here, I'm finding myself watching the live action. Yeah, it's, there's it's a lot going on. Intense. The 2 0 count, trying to get back in this. Ooh, that's a good. I think that's how you got to attack Jolly. Jolly, anything middle, middle around the zone, he's found a way to make contact. Anything moving down, I'm, I'm giving you tips here. Yeah. I, I need him. Stop. I should probably stop. That sinking two seam. I'm out. Just misses his barrel. He can hit that. I didn't say anything. 2 1. Look at that calf. Cavs are popping. Here's the pitch. Oh, he got wow. it top of his own. But 77 think, on the swing, surely. I think let's check that replay. I believe that might have been 70. Or I'm so wrong. Let's have a look. 67. No, 67. Yeah, you're really wrong. I'm very wrong. I'm glad we waited. 2 he look, 2. He looks locked. He looks locked. Look at Jolly, though. So does Jolly. <laughs> it's a lock off. <laughs> it's better Likes than it. the alternative, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call your landlord. It's a lock off. <laughs> we should probably shouldn't laugh at our own yeah, jokes. No. 3 2 count. Five balls in this game of Blitzball, not four. 3 2 count. Crowd's getting into it. Here's the delivery. Spikes it again. Okay. And loses some velo. I think he's trying to add a little bit of movement. He's trying to go with that sinker. He doesn't He doesn't realize it. you just got to let it happen. You can't yeah. force a sinker. You can't. You have to let it happen. You got to trust the ball. Trust your balls. Trust your balls, folks. The full count pitch. A strike ends the inning. Chase oh, is high. 91. He got him. On the swing. Wow. That's a good pitch. Top of the zone for Jolly. Top of the zone. Now the inning is over just like that. That. That is insane. Stranding a man on second, getting two strikeouts, he dug deep. NFL fans, this season is starting to heat up with big plays and even bigger wins. We've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they have an exciting new offer for you. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. You can still get in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Thank you, DraftKings. Thank Draft you, DraftKings. You're the best, DraftKings. Thank you for sponsoring this wonderful event. And it is, it's madness in here. It's amazing. It's, it's energy is what it is. That's a dangerous spot for those drink bottles, but I'm just yeah. going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> I'm glad you did. I, I feel like that's just, look at that. And look, Pax is on see, it. Thank you, Pax. See. So that, I feel like the warehouse is almost a little stunned after a first pitch double, missing a nothing. homer barely, and then they couldn't make contact with the ball. I know Jimmy was concerned a little bit about the ability of these guys to throw strikes. I felt like we've seen nothing but strikes from yeah. Jake. Jake's, Jake's, Jake's used to a crowd. He loves a crowd. That was very impressive. I've got to give Jake his props there. Now we deal with Mr. Canobio right here, kissing himself in the... Did he just give... Was that to himself? I think so. Okay. Very vain guy he is. Well, heads up. Only lefty in the building, I think. Look at Jake. First pitch. 73 and down. And that's going to be probably a foul ball in my face. No, it's all right. It's all right, Jake. It's all right. <laughs> Adrenaline is pumping. Taking deep breaths. Watch. Open stance from Story Alley. Okay, He's let's go. Here we another. go. Pick it up. Dan. He does like to go 3 0, doesn't he? He does. Ooh. Is that clip that, I think that Ooh. clipped. It tickled the pipe. Yes. Like Feathered. A, like a seductive plumber. It's a. F right. I've used that line before. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, that is a strike. 67 inside pipe. Doesn't matter. He's unfazed. Oh. He's a little nervous. 
He's nervous. What pitch was oh. that? I believe that was a two seam. He's no. also got a slider. Number. Oh, uh, four. Of the at bat? Yes. Of the total game. Oh, total? 17. You know it? No. Okay. Good sell, though. Yeah, thanks. Here we go. 3 1. Can Dan find it? He found it. Oh, 71. Too much. 71. A little too fast. That's a redo. Dan is a, um, he comes out fast. That's adrenaline. Too. It's adrenaline dump. It's, it's nothing like performing in front of a crowd. The 3 1. <gasps> Tickles it Another again. Another feather. Pull the plumber. It a sexy voice. Feather. Feather. We did take a sexy photo earlier. Remember we did. that? Yeah. Go, <laughs> go check it out. If you're not, <laughs> check out my Instagram <laughs> at sexyphotos.com. Now we got a baseball full count, a blitz ball 3 2. Oh, good I think, take. I think he went slider there. 71 slider. Mm, maybe. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no also. We haven't seen the slider yet. Last time we threw it, it was a walk-off homer in the warehouse. 4-2. The 4-2 pitch. <gasps> Two's him, gets him! That's Bottom a really in. good pitch. That's wow. a really good pitch. That looked like it was going to obviously go down below the zone, but all of a sudden kept a true... Look at this. Painting. Look at how true this stays. Oh. Just a late swing, a panic swing, and a jump. That's not how you connect. The big one lefty down. can induce panic swings like no one else. Look at that smile on his face. It's like he sets it up. Jimmy, nervous. <sighs> oh, that is a redo. It will be a redo. One mile per hour too fast. The crowd's helping out. This is amazing. Okay. Dan has found the zone, though. Dan using his hands like a glove. Fouled back. That ball is dead. Basically, the only time a ball is dead is that back wall. What brand are those shoes? I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe DraftKings. Maybe DraftKings. Baggage chance. Rain down. The 0 1. <gasps> Fouled back again. I believe that was 70, though. Jimmy's angry. Jimmy is definitely angry at himself. Confidence is down a little bit. Dan's finding the zone, but speed is bailing Jimmy out. Not a great swing there. The 0 1. Oh. Toying with him a little bit, it feels like. <laughs> yeah. Does he pull the string here? Does he throw something with some shape? Look at this. Just a perfectly located, I guess you'd call that a two seamer. Yeah. Freaky lefty two seamer. Jimmy open stance, crowding the plate a little. Got him. 72. 72, another redo. Dan pumping the zone, and Jimmy can't get a barrel on it. <laughs> but he's happy. How could you not be? Look around, Jim. Terrible swing. It's horrible. He's got to plant that back foot. He's got to drive the ball straight in this place. Ball outside. He's got a lot to play with. He's still got three pitches that he can get. Yeah. And he's something got, with a knuckle in it. I mean, what are we doing? He's got to be confident that. He can just throw a strike whenever he wants. He does, but it's a redo again. Jimmy drops the bat. Four naught. That was too fast. That is a redo. Make a Maybe Jolly should, like, punch him in the arm? Do big leaguers do that? No, no. Okay. There was an old adage that used to be thrown around that side armors like to be tired. I can tell you after a few arm surgeries, that's not the case. Right. The one-two again. Oh, we got Gets him. him chasing. Just, he was defeated before the pitch. He's defeated, and now... The inning's over. We go to a swing off. There's one. That, there's some people that you just cannot, you just cannot get a hit off, or in other words, get out. I couldn't get Ryan Zimmerman out. Right. Me neither. Feels like Jimmy can't get a hit off Dan Canobio. That. Those were some tough swings. I think Dan threw eight strikes, and they really couldn't do anything. And really impressive performance by Dan. Now we go to a swing off, which I know the stream's waiting to hear the rules. This is my first swing off. Your first swing off. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where do I put my keys? <laughs> <laughs> so we got two. Oh, Jimmy's going to explain oh. it. And I'll explain it to the stream after. So the situation here, Give each it to team us. is going to pick a pitcher, and then 
they, oh, Dan Kenobi are getting some advice from his dad. This is amazing. Andrew and Jolly some advice. I mean, it's just, it's just family. It's family. It's what we are. At the end of the day, it's family. The world is one big family. So in the swing off, looks like Jake is going to be their pitcher. Okay. And he is going to pitch to Dan and Jolly. Their combined total bases is their score. So if Jolly hits a homer, Dan hits a single, that's five bases. Same rules apply with the miles per hour? Yes, but okay. there is no balls. There is no balls. Infinite balls. And three strikes as okay. baseball goes. So we're going to see baggage on the bump first. If they can put up a zero total basis, then baggage is the home team. They get up there, hit a single. It's a walk-off, swing-off point. Well, if that was that easy, we would have seen it done a few times last inning. That's true. And I still can't get over the first pitch of the game. Jolly Missile. misses a solo homer by about three possum's tails. And now we're in the swing-off, and here's the first pitch. Fouled Ooh. straight back. Possum tails. Yeah. Australia length. has a lot of possums. Thickness or length? Uh, length. Okay. I know how to measure that. Right. Canobio in the box. Up in the box. It's up for something slow that he pulls in our faces. That's Bounces it. it again. And again, balls don't matter. So it is just 0-1. Speak for yourself. Strikes are all that matter. Shout out to the Writers Guild. Ball in the air. That is a foul ball. DJ Booth. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we had like a sound effect. That'd be cool. You just did it. I just did it. Flip it. Two strikes early in the swing off. Dan's got to stay alive, but also wants to put up big bases. You don't want to be 0-2 in the swing off. Because it's a free for all. <gasps> he was 0-2 in the swing off and he got 69. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You do not want to be 0-2 in the swing off and get he 69. He just 69. A high 69. A high one. Dry mouth. Just <laughs> <laughs> Jolly, Alice. Jolly in the box. They're nodding at each other. This is weird. Jake feels Jake, Jake feels like he's found something. I think. Gotta pound the zone and then go high. Just misses low. That's fine. Good misses, though. Good Manageable misses. misses. I said this in the last BB. You just got to have good misses. True. Make them make a decision. Make it hard for them to make a decision. Yeah. Once Jake starts spiking the ball, then it kind of gets auto-take situation. Ball in the air, fouled back. Joe's, Joe's caught it on his tip. Nice job, Joe's. So again, again baggage. Gets a head in the count in the swing off, which is kind of amazing. Why is that amazing? Uh, I didn't think we'd see this many strikes. Okay. That, that was Jimmy's concern. Are you nervous? I'm getting a little nervous. Okay. But I'm impressed with these two teams. Pitching. What is that that he's trying to throw there? Is that some sort of drop, drop that, ball, some sort of maybe slider? Jake's four seam is kind of short-armed. Okay. He's low to the ground, and he kind of releases it low, and it's yeah. bar down or just in the ground. So... Spikes that a lot. See if it goes back to it. Or if it goes high. Goes high. Misses in. Good spot, though. The swing off is a war of attrition. Because a good take gets you nothing. That's true. You just want to barrel the ball. And Jolly's only thinking dead center homer. Look at those eyes. Staring through Jake. Delivery. <gasps> Sees his eyes are lighting up on that high pitch. Yep. Yep. He's wow. got to keep his, he's just, he's a lot of movement in the swing. There's a lot of movement in the swing. I need him to just calm it down just a little bit. See how he's Ooh, moving backwards. Yeah. The eyes are shifting all over the place. He's trying to Take stand Take the Zoe it. approach. Zoe, stand and fucking deliver. Yeah. Sorry about the swear word. Two I'll strikes again. Minimum. I just kids Two bags get out of it. No, no, not at all. Not even close. Good take. Gets you nothing, though. Gets you nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Wow. Jolly's family and kids are here watching. It's like an NFT. <laughs> Story Alley. <gasps> Ball in the air. That's a single. That's tough to That play. will be a single. <laughs> That's the way you got to aim, guys. A ball in the bar. A bar ball. You know what's crazy? Single. You get to watch. Your idea, you, you cannot field that ball. No. That's singles all day long. Yeah. Singles alley, we'll call that. Which, if Hookline can escape, Dan has an advantage. Right. He's the only lefty. Just Let's try see. and pull it. Well, I guess you can just actually, if he's trying to pull the ball, I'm afraid he's going to be out in front of everything. And right. if he's out in front too much, 
we're going to be eating a blitz ball sandwich. Yes. What I'd prefer is he tries to stay back and go that way, whereas the right-handers with that approach, we'll look where it ends up. Singles alley. You, the easiest way to home, hit a homer here is just dead center. You don't even really have to catch it. You just got to get it above that fence. Okay. So now we were in the bottom of the inning of the swing off for the home team baggage. Same. Thank you, Zoe. Hook line put up one total base in the swing off. Not great, but it's better than nothing. So Baggage has to get a two bases to win, one base to go to a double swing off, which know. we've only seen done twice. I don't know. I, I haven't seen any contact yet. I'll be we honest with you. Haven't seen a lot of contact, but Dan has to be a little nervous because a double wins it for Baggage. Does that I think. Nope. Ball. That, no matter ball. what. Doesn't matter. Gets you nothing. Good take. Matter. Gets you nothing. Good take. We're all over it. Here's the pitch. Get you nothing. Again. I'm I'm just feathering the edges all day long. Yeah. Will we see him drop a slider? I wouldn't think so. Not with the success he had. Maybe late in the count. Oh. Maybe late. In the, he can do that. See, that's he can all that he can day. do. Get that two seamer moving away from Jimmy. Struggles with that. Struggles with that. And then he can start the slider off the same little tunnel. I talked about tunneling a lot last time mm. I was here. Might be my favorite thing. That's a single. single. We've got at least a tie. Oh, Look at baggage. Oh, Look boy. at baggage. The it ain't over yet. We got a tie game and it comes down to, to the BB1 MVP, Jake. He did text me last night with a message. I'm not going to let him know what it is now, but I'll tell you, if it happens today, there's going to be some excited baggage fans. You got to think the room's leaning baggage. Dan needs to put up an out here to send it to a double overtime. First pitch, ball down. Jake was one of the better hitters in early blitz ball. He was. I think his career's kind of taken over a bit. He's more worried about the voice than the swing. Right. But Sunset moments of his like career. this, moments like this, maybe send him off with a, on a high note, carry him off in a chariot. Oh, we wanted it. Do you guys have chariots here? We have a couple. Okay, good. Oh, oh, count still. Dan needs three strikes or a flyout. We haven't seen any action in the field. Oh, riser there. Okay. He looked a little. There's, so there's no count. There's no count at all. No count at all. It's just mano a mano every single pitch. Kind of like it. Oh, <gasps> just misses. He's working fast too. And I think Jake has seen nothing but that sort of four seam no. sinking two seam. Yeah, it's tough not getting a strike early because now Jake has seen that a lot. Can maybe dial in. That is the and now slider, he's trying to get more movement. I think that's a change up. Did it go that way or that way? I think that way. Good pitch. We were looking at the screen. We know. <laughs> Two seam again. Two Gets him. Wow. One strike. <laughs> that felt like a three strike situation. He swings under it every time. You could just see. He just swings. Oh, he's oh. just so close. That was a good cut. Kind of kept his own off. Ooh, oh, good take. You see, he wanted to swing. He wanted to swing. He's. He's really digging deep. He's locked in right yeah. now. I feel like there's going to be some contact on this pitch. Put the barrel on the ball. <laughs> oh, oh the play! Oh, makes the play. Dead center. Why was he playing in center field? That's why. Rips the ball. What a play. What oh. an amazing play. We've seen that wow. just jump up. New surface. A little bit of water here yesterday. Just a great... Great play in a pressure situation. That was the hardest hit ball of the day, and Jolly, it looked right to Jolly, just scooped it up. Now what do we do? <laughs> now we go to a double swing off. We're going to see what the rules are. This is what happens when you do a two-out game. You have to go the other guys? The replacement guys have to hit? And I don't think so. Okay. I think you can just keep running it back. And at this point, you got to think, for the winning team, they have two more games to play. So Dan and Jake... Yeah, send packs down there to explain the rules to the lovely stream. Jimmy, what's going on? You got to take away a player. So Jake's got a pitch and hit. Dan's going to pitch and hit. Me and Jolly are fielders only. One at bat, same thing. Okay. One at bat. One at bat, total bases in the top of the third inning, essentially, in a one inning, two out game. This is madness. 
So Dan's going to hit, and Dan's going to pitch. Jake's going to pitch. Jake's going to hit. Whoever can put up more bases will move on to play Love Yes. That must be. I tell you what, it's going to be tough if it's a tie after this when we remove two more players. I don't know how they're going to finish <laughs> it, but it, we'll see. Jimmy's got an idea. A couple of ghosts. <laughs> Maybe we go out there. Don't you. Don't you give me a sniff. Dan in the box, grinning from ear to, to mouth. First pitch. Dan Denobio! Dan Denobio! Home run! That the is, old man. That's to the right of the double line, and that's a four-bagger, four bases. Baggage has to hit a home run to keep the game going. I mean, he jumps on a red-eye from Vegas last night. He lands this morning on no sleep. He shows up, gets a couple of at-bats to get comfortable, and then decides, you know what, this is my moment. I'm taking over. Hits it right over his father. There's been a bit of connection. There was a talk over there. Maybe they would say, hey, hit it to me. Maybe. And where did he hit it? Opposite field. Great call. That's why we're in the booth. That's why we're here. Because I can analyze, folks. I can analyze as good as anyone. What a fielding play by Jolly Oliver. Right? Kept Kept him in it. What? There's the old man. Look at him. Look at him. There's the father. We're in the John Boy Media boxing. That away. Just flex for us. Right out of the box. Dan is now on the mound. Needs to just give up a single to win. That's the first strike. No, what is the approach here? You have to hit a homer. Yeah, I mean, you lift and separate. Unbutton your shirt, rip it if you have to, and just get the chest hairs out and let it rip. Swing as hard as you can, maybe. The crowd's behind Jake. The crowd wants to see baggage go through. <gasps> that's a redo. That will be a redo. That's, I like that hack. It's a good hack. I like that hack. You also got to be careful to not swing so hard you just hit right. a grounder. I've, I've seen a couple of check swing homers fly out of here earlier today in right. practice rounds. Yeah, I mean, maybe bunt. Uh, Bunt it really far. Right. <gasps> what a pitch. That is one mile power too Look fast. Look at Jimmy. Jimmy's almost enjoying the fact <laughs> that he's not playing. Because <laughs> he can't be walked off against him, I right, guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest he's been all day, I think. Uh, me too. Me too. What Come a time. Here. What a time. Look at this. Oh. oh. That's a good. You're right. <laughs> Jeez. Who said that? Are you okay? Oh, my goodness. There's someone under the booth. I think there's, a, <laughs> there's an old woman on my... I thought he flipped it there. 23 with a delivery. That's a wow. That's an absolute dot. 69 him. 69 him. 69 inside. You can't really do anything when you're trying to hit a homer. He wants to extend. Here it is. This could be the end of baggage. <gasps> oh my god, what a take. Doesn't get you anything except for another pitch. Get you nothing. Joe's clearing the play. himself. Okay. Nice, Joe. I think you didn't fix it. I need the back shoulder to drop just a little bit. I need the back shoulder tilted just a little bit, a little bit of this, and then. Here's the delivery. <gasps> didn't Ooh, go. Look he at did that not tricep. Go. Look at that tricep. Wow. Is that where the horse kicked you? <laughs> right there. Oh. What a take. Kenobio hasn't thrown a lot of breaking balls. No. He does have that big slider that he can throw at any point. Little drop down action coming. That's got to be a horrible idea to do that, right? He doesn't. That's a single, and Hookline will move on. Wow. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hookline with an emphatic victory. It only took three innings. Dan goes yard. It feels like Dan has the ability to go from zero to hero like nobody else. It's kind of his thing. It's his thing. Falls behind, 4-0, and comes back, punches people out. I can't believe it. Pax, let's go get some emotion. Jimmy, hard fought game. Play in, first play in in blitz ball blitz. How are you feeling after that? And what happened? How am I feeling? Uh, like, like I didn't get to play a complete game. It's two at bats, and this is really quick. But happy for Dan. He went hit list to Homer. So, and his dad's here, and his dad really wanted him to get a hit. So I'm happy for them. Yeah. Guys, back to you in the booth. I'm going to grab Jolly. We are very happy for them. What a game. Uh, just just to point out that Jimmy did make the rules. Right. Uh, you could have made them different. But yeah. Pax, talk to the legends of the Bronx. Yeah, the legends of the Bronx is what you were just called. Guys, how are you feeling after that? I'm feeling great. Jolly made some huge plays, gave me a chance to go up there, finally got a hit. It might be my first hit in this season. Yeah. Uh, Jolly, do you think that Dan made his dad proud? 
Oh, I was telling his dad the whole time, it has to be Dan this game. If we're going to make a run at this, we got to get Dan going. It was the perfect situation, and he absolutely crushed it. I love that. Back to you in the booth. Let's go. Just, just let Jolly know that his new father is also proud of him. Well done, Jolly. Outstanding. This was an outstanding game. This is exactly what you wanted as an opener. Little action. Big action at the end of a game. Kenobio has, as I said, that ability to just freak everybody out, thinking he's going to do nothing, and then shows up. The lefty two-seam has just pockets of unhittability. Dominance. Yeah, dominance. Pockets of dominance. That pockets might be my album dominance. cover, by the way. Sometimes it's just BP, and sometimes it just runs in on the hands, and then boom, inside glass, 68, 69. And Baggers could do nothing with it. I don't know what album I'm making, but it, when I do, it's, that's the title. Maybe like Underwater Folk. Sure. Very sure. muted. Is it? Yeah. I feel like I'm muted. But this is... This is... Uh, this is the end of baggage, I feel like. This is the... Uh, wow. I don't know how they come back from this again. They just got to keep coming back and try to put their hat in the ring and yeah. try something else. There looks like a little bit of defeat over there. I'm not sure if it's just going to take a couple of drinks to get them fired back up again. Yeah, luckily we're at a bar. And I think Jake will be here calling the next game, so you're about to really debrief oh. that. And he'll be happy, I'm sure. I'm sure. What uh, am I supposed to do? That Jolly Olive play saved the game. For me... Besides Zoe, has there been anybody that's improved as much in the warehouse? It's got to gotta be Jolly. Okay. It's amazing. Building. And let's go check out some of these wonderful fans. We're going to send it to PAX. I don't know where she is. I'm all the way up here in the upper deck. Okay. What are y'all's names and where are you from? Lene. Akari. We're from California. <laughs> California? Did you drive or did you fly? We flew. Okay, that would have been cool if you uh, if you drove. But okay, so what brings you here? What is it about the warehouse that got you all the way from California? Watching it for years, and uh, we wanted to be a part of the excitement. First live game, live shows. Wanted to come and support our boys. What do you got on this next game? We've got Pinstripe and Ice. Do we, who we think we're gonna win? Definitely got ice. <laughs> Definitely? Like a 100% sure? Yeah, you got Zoe hitting and you got Jack pitching. Oh, no better you got know. Zoe hitting, you got Jack pitching. I mean, I don't got anything better than that. I'm throwing it down to the new booth. We've got another game on our hands. Welcome back to the booth. Dan Canobio here with the Peter Moylan. The new booth. I mean, what just happened? I think I How blacked you feeling, out. Man? I think I just blacked out, and I got to sit down with Peter Moylan. What a treat! You're a little sweaty, I'll be honest, but it's... how did it feel? The crowds here. Listen, I've been struggling at the plate. That was my first I hit. I know. My we were chanting that you hadn't got a hit. I had my dad I here. He's I in the corner. Chanting, He's like, move up on the plate. Is that what he said? Yes. You know what I said? What? I was talking before that this feels like singles alley, but it's going to yes. be tough for you because you can't make a play over there. Yes. But your approach has to be left center. That's left the way center. you're out in front of everything too much. Yeah, my weight is always forward. And you're, you're just swinging, you're swinging too early. So yeah. if you hit that approach and aim for that red pole mm. every swing, I think you're going to be able to yeah. get a couple of knocks between here and I'm the I mean, end of the game. That felt... Amazing. Out of body. Right. <laughs> Getting the fans here is the whole nother thing. We play in the warehouse. It's an unbelievable experience. But doing it in front of a crowd, it added, I'm not going to lie, the first inning, they were jitters. Right. And so how did you control them? Because I was asked, how do you control the nerves? And there's not much you can do besides maybe a little breathing, a little this, that, and the other. But it's honestly nerve-wracking to know that there are this many eyes watching you do something <laughs> that you're not 100% right. comfortable doing. Right. It's It's... I guess some people would say don't look at the crowd, but I play into it. Okay. Well, maybe you're not supposed to look at the crowd, but I'm looking at the crowd. I'm right. playing. I'm talking to them. That's um, the boxer in you, though. Yeah, that, that is the boxer in me. Let's take a look at our bracket update. Here we got We Got Ice. They're going up against Pinstripe Strong. Uh, we have moved on. We're going to face Love Yous next in the semifinals, and we all meet in the finals. A two-inning game uh, with three outs. That's a lot of bullets, Peter, because my arm right now is... Sitting down here is pretty brutal, but we're going to throw it over to Paxton right now. Yes, guys, we've got another first pitch. Introduce yourself. My name is Zach. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm I'm ready to throw this thing. He's ready. Okay, give him the ball, Pinnock. Let's see this. Nice pitch. Back to you in the booth. That's a lot of pressure, you know? It's like, hey, want to throw out the first pitch? We got to do it from steps in a bar. <laughs> right. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. We got, we got ice. 
taking on Pinstripe Strong. We Pinstripe sure Strong did. had a great regular season uh, behind Lou Dab. He uh, hit a walk-off home run off of me. Did you see that, Peter? I did see that. Why did I throw a slide? I was just thinking. I was waiting for that pitch this whole first game, but you didn't throw it, but you learned from that. Jimmy's I guess. got a mic in his hand. Uh-oh. He, oh, it's it on. Mike is on, Jim. <laughs> now, you would think that We Got Ice would have a bigger crowd. You know, they're, they're superstars. They are superstars. It's just hit 200K. All right, here we go. We are ready. We got ice taking on Pinstripe Strong. We got ice just hit 200K on YouTube. They have a ton of fans, but it's Pinstripe Strong that has the big fan contingent. You know why, Peter? Because these are two guys born and raised in the Bronx. They sure are. Just around the corner. They look like it, too. They look like they're ready to rumble. They look like they're ready to take this fight to the streets. And who would have thought that the only people playing baseball in October in the Bronx would be a bunch of podcasters? Well, <laughs> I tell you what, that's great. That is absolutely wonderful. I didn't think that. You guys No, are, you I guys, didn't either. Oh Your Braves are sitting pretty. They're the odds-on favorite to win it all. Are they? All right, here's Jolly Olive, my great teammate, picked me up. All right, we are ready here in the Bronx. Jack Doyle on the mound, Lou Dab at the plate, Dan Canobio, Peter Moylan from Billy's in the Bronx. Here we go. It's just, I know it's a one pitch, <laughs> but he's dialed it in already. Six, that's the biggest thing. I was hitting a lot of 70s because I was super amped up. I could see. I tried to put three fingers on the ball. I tried a little bit of everything. This is a premier matchup. Jack Doyle versus Lou Dab. Did that clip? Did that just clip? Gonna have to take a look. We've got a lot of offense coming in this game, Peter. This matchup features three of the four top hitters in the league. Lou is hitting a robust 750. Oh, 71. That's the breaking ball that not a lot of guys can throw. He throws that as hard as he, you can throw a fastball, but it moves like a curveball. It blows my mind. Nicky Cass has a similar slide. He throws his slider at 68, 69. Yeah. It's just full arm speed. There's the pinch drive. Strong, faithful. A lot of pressure on these boys. It's a 2-1 count. 2-1. 21. I'm calling games. I'm umpiring. 2-1. 2-1. Jack Doyle looking in menacingly. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swung on and fouled right into our booth. Almost took the head right off of Jimmy O'Brien. Where did that go? That skinned your Billy's hat. Did it? That's fine. I wouldn't have felt it anyway. <laughs> Game number two here. Jack Doyle on the mound, a 2-2 count, Lou Dab. Lou Dab fouls it off, battling. Zoe comes flying in out of nowhere. He has become one of the better fielders. Yes, that is very true. Looks Lou, very fit at the moment, too. He's running a lot of uh, half marathons. Oh, yeah, just a lot of them. According to Instagram. The 2-2 from Doyle. Mm, Low and away. Pull the string. Go to a 3-2 count. Here in Blitzball, five balls is a walk. So a full count is 4-2. It's a little funky. But we're playing Blitzball in a bar in the Bronx. You're a little funky. I s probably smell funky right now. Nah, we're fine. The 3-2 from Doyle. Fouled, and thank goodness there is a net in front of our cameraman, Rob, because that would have taken out his legs. You know what's scary? Everyone else in this Blitzball <laughs> is right-handed, except for you. Well, everyone else is covered except for us. Right. We're fine. Here's the 3-2. He's fine. Oh! He doesn't offer at it. I know. There's a reason why Lou Dab is hitting 750 this year, because he lays off really tough pitches. Oh 
It's just a man that feels like he's built to play baseball. Yeah, I actually played against him in college on Long Island. I, he was a stud shortstop for Farmingdale State. We played him in a fall league game, and I remembered him. That's how good he was. Really? Yes. I was like, slick fielding shortstop for Farmingdale back in 06. The first year in the big leagues. Good take there. And that brings up Joe's McFly. Wait, you were in high school in 06? I graduated high school in 2005. Don't call me old man Dan for nothing. What were you doing in 2005? I was uh, a pharmaceutical rep about to come over here and play in the Globe Baseball Classic in 06. Unbelievable. <gasps> 70 miles an hour, that's too fast. That is too fast. You have it at, get it under 70 miles per hour. Tony, there's a lot of nerves when you're up in that uh, on the mound. You got to figure out a way to get it under 69. What? Under I, under get 69. Get under 69. That's something I'll be doing. Nope. That's what I'm talking about. 71. Doyle's got a case of the Canobio. <laughs> Sorry. Should I put three <laughs> fingers on it? What should I do? For what? To, to get the speed down. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just separate your fingers a little bit, or you can go with a third. More friction on there, the slower the pitch. <gasps> that was a take. It looked like he tried to take it with something else there. Take it in the buttocks. Good flex. Look at the fans here at Billy's in the Bronx. They have showed out on a Sunday afternoon in the Bronx. I love when the subway goes by. That I reminds me of the Bronx. That. That's New York. That's How often is that going to happen? Oh, probably every seven minutes. Outstanding. <gasps> Joe's that right there. Off the quad. Is something that happens to Joe's McFly often. He gets hit while swinging. I think his weakness is the inside corner. So if you're going to miss, you want to miss in. Yeah. That just so happens to be quad, penis, somewhere around that area. I've seen Joe's get hit in the face while swinging. I've seen him do check swing home runs. Saw that. Jack feels like he's... Jack's uh, off a little bit. This is something we've seen this year. He's obviously the best pitcher in the warehouse. But he is a slow starter. He's like Canelo Alvarez. He's slow, he starts slow, and then he picks up steam. And he knocks you out. There it is again. Just got swung hit. Hit swung. What would you call that? A swing hit this or a hit swing? The meat swing? What? Meat swing. Hits okay. meat and he swings. Uh, sweet. Meat sweats. You heard the meat sweats? Joe's McFly has the meat swing. Look, that gets a lot of meat. I actually got back. I think he made contact. That's and fingers. That's what it's like facing Jack. He looks well. calm. But even when Jack is like not on his A game, he's still damn good. Oh, Joe sends one into the bar. That is a single. Joe's McFly is amped up. Look at that secret handshake. You're gonna learn that. Yeah, let's go. First and second, no outs. We got ice up against the ropes early. Singles alley. Jack Doyle's got to dig deep here. He's got to find something. He's got to find that thing that made him special. Ranked number four in the world in Blitzball. The Blitzball creator is here. I see him with his notepad out. He might drop Jack to scouting. five. Scouting. He's scouting for sure. And I'll tell you what, Lou Dab just snuck into the top 25 too. <laughs> Here he is, Lou Dab, with two runners on, can't a 67 take, mile an take hour. That pitch, Lou. That's your one, buddy. Look at him, he's mad. Yeah. He knows it. He knows. He knows he missed one there. Golden he opportunity. Now yep. he's going to see nothing straight. Will Jack rein it in? Here's the old one, the Lou Dab. And the thing with Doyle is he could just find it out of nowhere. Right. And then reel off nine straight strikes. Well, that's the release point. As soon as you find that special release point, it just takes one pitch to lock you back in, and you found it. Big pitch here, 1-1 one, one count, first and second. Too fast, too furious. I got pipe Just too. Missed. Did it get pipe? Yeah. 70 miles an hour, it's some pipe. Nothing worse than that, so it doesn't mean anything in this game. Here's the 1-1 one, one from Doyle. Swung on and drilled for a single. Not a single. It is now bases loaded, no outs. Can I please remind you at home that this is a one inning lead. Right. We're one swing away from sending this to almost an unreachable lead. Lou Dabs on the mound. Look at that swing, controlled up the middle. Good approach. We got action. Action in the Bronx, bases loaded, no outs. We got ice looking for answers. Oh, Joe's, Joe's wants to be a hero. Joe's, Joe's needs his moment. He's in the zone. That was a great take from Joe's. 
Got the Dominican hat on. <laughs> WBC Dominican hat. Look at that. Represent. Joe's was 0 for 11 heading into that previous at bat. I know someone else that was 0 for this tournament before that at bat. I don't know. I don't know who what? you're talking don't about. Don't hanging, dude. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who you're talking about. That's a Peter Moylan special. He insult you and then go to dap you up. I said you just got the base knock and you lost. Yeah, but you had to tell people I was 0 for 11 before that. Well, Come on. Knows it. Come on, Peter. They watch. Another we sang show that you take. Were 0 for. Another show take from Joe's. So I'm sorry. Look at that. Come here. I'm sorry. Hug it, let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. I didn't mean it. Joe's came into that last at bat 0, 0 for 11, 11 10 punches. 10 Ks. That's why he's feeling good right now. Low. It's take mode right now because Jack Doyle has not been able to consistently throw a strike like we're so used to seeing from him. It's very unusual. The 3-1 from Doyle. Swung through, 76 on the that swing. swing for sure. Let's take a look at the pitch. Let's take a look at Zoe. And here's the pitch. 69er! How great is this replay system? How great is our How, crew? This, are you kidding me? We're in a bar. We have a full-fledged production team. This is ridiculous. Everyone back there is doing a great job. Joe Go swings again. through it, and We Got Ice gets their first out of the inning. And now and the pressure starts again, to mount. It's on Lou. It's always on Lou. He's a ball player's ball player. I mean, with how, let's look at where they're fielding and maybe just put a little contact on, maybe get something over the line into the fence over there if you were pinstripe strong and, and they said guys we'll have bases loaded in the top of the first with, with one, one out, out and lou will be up you take that every day every day twice on sunday a couple times big at bat here bases loaded one out that's disgusting oh my goodness that should be illegal you cannot hit that pitch it doesn't matter that's a 12-6 curveball that's as good as a curveball you see in the big leagues right there Disgusting. That's, I see that in my nightmares. That's Tyler Glass now. Here is the 0-1 from Doyle. Swoo! Oh, right make a to, play. Right back to Doyle. That's I, magic. That's we got ice magic. I questioned. I questioned the pitch selection, and then he made the play. These one-inning games are all about momentum. Pinstripe strong had all the momentum. Bases loaded, no outs. And who steps up? Now here's Joe's with two outs. If Joe's McFly hits a bump. That was Jolly Olive. He took my headphones. If Joe's McFly does hit a bump, though. This place will erupt. I mean, this might. We better hold on the roof, make sure there's some reinforcements, because I am going to lose my shit. Here is the OO. <gasps> 70 miles an hour. Good too take. Fast. Okay. All of a sudden, we got ice is in command here. Uh. The momentum, if there was a momentum meter, yeah, it would be okay. on the side if of If he throws ice. a ball here, I'll believe you. It's a ball. 73 miles an hour in the warehouse slash Billy Sports This is the car. biggest pitch ball. in Jack Doyle's life. <laughs> here it comes. That's, that's totally fair to say that. The 1 0 from Doyle. He's back in the bat. That's it. The bat's over. Joe's is not going to be able to get a hit. If they don't get a run here, that's debilitating. We got ice. It's exhilarating. If he throws something in the zone here, he's going to go to that big Tyler Glasnow curveball that he's got to get him a here punch. 1-1. One, one. Funk. And he misses away. I like that idea, though. Show him something low. Show him something down. Show him something coming back into the plate. See, that's, that's Jack Doyle. I threw the same pitch over and over and over and over. I've over. seen that. Because I was afraid to throw my slider. I wanted to. I wanted you to. Inches. I'm going to have to throw my slider to Love you. Well, don't say that now. They might be watching. Okay. Covered my face. Okay. How many are you going to throw? A lot. They're going to think that this fastball is coming. Anyway, here's a 3-1. Biggest pitch of the game. 68 mile per hour dot. And just like that, there are two strikes on Pinstripe Strong. Was the idea to try to get the bat back to Lou? Is that <laughs> what? I mean, come on, Joes. Let a rip son. Peace is loaded. 3-2 count. Glasnow. Here comes the Glasnow. If Lou can't hit it, there's no chance. He's going to take it. Just throw it for a strike and it's over. What will Doyle throw here? It's blown away. Jack Doyle is that's the most adamant I've ever seen Jack Doyle. Why wouldn't you be? You come in. If you're relieving, you come in that situation. You get out of it. 
You be your own reliever, Jack. Jack Houdini Doyle wiggles out of a bases loaded, no out jam. Absolutely unbelievable, what an effort. And now what he's up at the plate. That's we got ice though, they got Mojo, they got Magic. But what a momentum's killer for Pinstripe Strong. All they had to do was put bat on ball. But you've seen, I'm not gonna mention that, you've seen how tough that can be. Putting bat on ball? Yeah. Nearly impossible for some. <laughs> for some, not for many. Not you. Oh man, we're having a blast here at Billy's. And here we go, it's all brought to you by DraftKings. NFL fans, the season is starting to heat up with big plays and even bigger wins. We've partnered up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they have an exciting new offer for you. New customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now and sign up using promo code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can get skin in the game with same game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. We can still get it in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. So go ahead, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager. Get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE, and it's only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. WAREHOUSE. Thank you, DraftKings. All right, so bottom of the first here, we got ice up at the plate after a rousing top of the first that saw them get out of a bases loaded, no out jam. Scenes here, Billy Spear. We need runs. I'd like to see some runs. These fans paid their hard earned money to see runs. I wanna see runs. That's why I hit a home run. That's why you hit a home run over your dad's face. You also did that, if you remember, during VP. Yes. If you stay that side, I'm telling you, you're gonna win MVP this tournament. You know what he told me? He's been telling me this for years. Keep your front shoulder in and down. And I, I, I'm usually out and away. Yeah. You know what that does? It shortens your back. Shortens everything up. Enough about me, this is about Pinstripe Strong and We Got Ice. Lou Dab on the mound. Jack Doyle up at the plate, bottom of the first, which is essentially the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Doyle can end this game with one swing of the bat. Send this entire sports bar into a frenzy. Lou Dab is a sneaky, sneaky good pitcher. He's a momentum pitcher, Peter. He's got a couple of different arm angles that he likes to throw at you, too. He gets into a rhythm. Starts slow, then he finds that slot, he finds that rhythm, and he starts pounding the zone. That Back up play. That was a strike. That's a, that's a really good pitch. That's a perfect pitch. 67 miles per hour, bottom right quadrant. That's corner. That ain't quadrant. That's quadrant. corner. I just really wanted to say quadrant. All right. Feather the corner. Say Two that. 2 1 from Dab. Climbs the ladder, but Jack says, no, no, not today. Pinstripe Strong fans are looking a little nervous. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. That Bases was loaded, none out. Momentum. Ugh. It's all about momentum in this game. The 3 1. That was disgusting. That was the Pete Moylan. That's the Pete Moylan. Little drop down. Little drop down sank. Lou was, pretty happy. Lou was pretty happy to tell me that. The Lou Seamer. The Lou Seamer. That's a beauty. He should trademark that. It's actually Jake Storielli's, but don't tell him I oh, stole okay. it. All right. Hey, Jake. Jake. Jake, I stole your saying. I'm sorry. I stole the Lou Seamer. Yeah. The Lou Seamer. He stole it. Mm. He's all right with it. Disgusting. We got a full count here. This is a huge pitch. Bottom of the first, no score, full count. <sighs> and he paints it. Look at Lou, look at the emotion. You think this doesn't matter? You think they don't care about this? Look at the, look at the weight of the Bronx on their shoulders. Look at that pitch. He you throws can't, up the biceps. You just can't pull the trigger on that. Look at Jack, he looks defeated. The momentum swings in this game. Talk about, I mean, you got, I, mean I just I, feel like he's had just such a big win. I still think momentum is on the side of we got ice. Okay. I think it's Zoe, like 60-40. Watch how controlled Zoe is when he gets in the box. It's like he just stands there, he keeps the hands still, and he just throws the barrel. Swung on, and there it is. A single for Zoe D'Amalia right on cue. Calm, cool, collected, threw his hands through the zone. 
We got ice right in this game. It's almost like you can see it coming. Just keeps the hands back. Doesn't try to do too much. That up the middle approach, up the middle right side, Dan Kenobi. I'm yes. not going to say it to you more often than I'm going to say right. it to today. All right. All right. All right. Just a beautiful human being. That pitch got a lot of plate. Little dab doesn't meet, need me to tell him that. Ooh. Ooh. Doyle's eyes light up when he sees a fat pitch. Fat pitch. Okay. I did say the B word on the air. Did you see that Instagram clip? No. Two weeks ago. Here. 67. I apologize because I pride myself as a man of faith. I said the F word earlier and I'm I, here. I didn't mean to. You're better than that, Moylan. I am. Here's the 1-1 one, one, and it hits him in the fleshy part of the forearm. But they have ice. I'll be here all week. I'm, I might not be after that. How did you get here? I'm back. I flew. You just kind of parachuted in. I flew, yeah. They threw me out. They weren't going to stop. They're on the way somewhere. They said, we'll give you a drop off, but that's it. All right. 68 miles an hour away. Runner on first, one out. I didn't fly in this morning, though. When did you fly in? Last night. That's nice. Got a good night's sleep. Got a good night's sleep. Put you up in a nice hotel. Got a little risotto last night. Oh, the saffron risotto? No saffron. A little mushroom. Just a little risotto. fungi. Ooh. 4-1 count here. We got ice. Has some life here with a runner on first via a Zodemelia single. Big pitch here. And it's 70 okay. miles an hour, which is a redo, which is the most debilitating thing as a blitz ball pitcher. You know what's crazy? You can't get ranked number four in the world in blitz ball if you can't swing a bat. Jack is a sneaky good hitter. And he a sneaky good take there. Which brings up Zoe once again. Deep breaths from Zoe. He looks around, he's talking to himself. You know, Lou has only given up one home run in his career, and that was to Jake. Wow. That was a nice home run. I remember it. That 70 miles an hour, he got a piece of Zoe. The ball ends up underneath our booth. Lou's watching the replay, he's trying to find that release point, trying to figure out, he's pulled a couple, a couple of big misses on the pull side. Now he's hitting guys in the doodle. It's kind of cool having that replay, but it's also like, a crutch at times because right. I can look right up after I swing and like try to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Well, you don't have that in real baseball. This isn't real baseball. This is blitz ball in the Bronx. Here's our guy Blondie. Blondie got Blondie. some hacks in earlier. Blondie hit a bomb in batting practice. Got some rips. Kid's a stud. And he's a big fan of We Got Ice. Will he see his hero, Zelda Malia, walk it off? That's a good swing. That's a good swing. That's, That's a blitz a ball swing. swing. Yeah, I'll never I mean? swing like that. Right. You're Ever. out here throwing that front shoulder and doing this. He is just straight I and short and bang. Look at that. I can't bring this. myself to do that. You can. It's ugly. You can do it. It's okay. I don't like it. 12 or, okay. <laughs> I'm very, very stubborn. <sighs> so Not a good swing either from Zoe. Expanded. Zoe never leaves the zone. Expanded. That's Zoe's game. Is that the pressure of the crowd? Yes. Is that the added pressure of having 17,000 eyes looking down at you? 17,000 souls here at Billy's at the Bronx. Unofficial. The 2-2. That's the miss. That's the miss, right? That's the miss that he's going to just... He's gonna, if he's going to go a long way in this tournament, Lou's going to have to cover, cover a lot of the pitching, let's be honest. I just got a text message from our head of socials, Kyle Condor, who told me they invited me to collab on Instagram. Wow. <laughs> Got to be good. That's a big deal. It is a big deal in my yeah. role. It might have been that, that, little, uh, that little shot you hit, maybe. Invited. We're live. Collab accepted, Kyle. Oh, Kyle, you're welcome. That's really going to help out the, the channel. Swung on through the legs of Zoe. Extending the at-bat. Extending the at-bat. All right, here we go. 4-2 count. First and second. Zoe could end the game with one swing of the bat. And he swings Lou through down. it. Look at Lou. This is a battle. Peter, this is a battle of momentum. First inning, bases loaded, no outs, no runs. First and second, no outs. And now we got ice is one at bat away from not getting any runs. Can I tell you something? Tell me. Jimmy was concerned about the level of strikes in this game. Oh, God. 
I mean, the nerves don't seem to be playing a factor in the pitching at all. These guys are locked in. They're ready to go. They're dotting. No walks. Outstanding. Big game players make big game plays in big game sports bars. Showtime, boys. All right. Put that on a freaking bumper <laughs> sticker. First and second, two outs. Two top 25 rated blitz ball players going at it. Ooh. Jack took the Jolly Olive approach. He said, I'm going to go first pitch and ambush. Jolly texted me last night. He told me this morning he's going to swing first pitch. No, he texted me while I was in Las Vegas. Hey, I'm swinging first pitch. I said, do whatever makes you happy, buddy. How long did you plan to swing first pitch? A week? Amazing. Yeah, I, that's my teammate right there. All right. It's my guy. 0-1 here from Lou Dabarino. Just misses. i got to tell you something else that, that's unbelievably impressive is the pitcher quality. The pitcher quality that we've got right here, the lighting in this place. Yeah, look at that shot it's of, of Rob Sirocco's nephews. The 1-1. One, one. Do you think Lou Dabs is sweating a bit? Or? He's got a nice lather going. He might use some of that back of the neck, get a little... Uh, yeah, ooh, sticky ooh, stuff. Ooh, ooh. He's looking like Patrick Ewing at the foul line. That's an old man reference. I'm a Knicks guy and I'm a Ewing guy. Okay. Haven't been relevant since Ewing. Georgetown. The 2-1 from Dab. <gasps> he finds the upper left quadrant. 69 dim. 2-2. Two, two. Just like that, we got ice. Who put two runners on with no outs. I've never had to face anything like that. How are you supposed to pull the trigger when it's coming down from the sky? They're one strike away from going at us with no runs. And it's coming down. It's, it's coming down. Drops it. Jones. Drops oh, no. it. Look at this. He drops there's some, there's, it. There's a little bit of dissension in the He ranks. drops it. There's some dissension in the ranks. And that's it, folks. That is it. The oh. game is over. We, we're getting a... We're going to a video replay. It's where it lands. It's a double. It's where, it's where it lands. So did it land behind the pitcher's mound? It did. It most definitely did. That's game, folks. Game. We got ice. We got ice. What a way to end it. Unbelievable ending here in the Bronx. We got ice with a gutsy win. And Paxton is standing by with Jack Doyle. I've got both of them. You can stay, okay. Um, Lou, really hard fought. We Got Ice ended up seeing you pretty well, but you guys saw them just as well. What happened there at the end? Uh, we could have put um, better uh, plate appearances at bats on the offensive side. I mean, defensively, we, I was dealing, I was dealing, you know. Uh, Jack put a good bat on ball, and he came on our top. A little miscommunication between me and Joe's there on that fly pop. <laughs> You'll be back. Jack. Hey. Pinstripe Strong saw you very well yes. whenever you were pitching. You guys got out of a bases loaded situation, ended up pulling out a victory. How are you feeling? Walk me through that thought process. Feeling good, just missed, missed barrels. We didn't load the bases, but as long as we don't anything heavy, we're fine, and we score runs. Okay, I love that. Back to you guys in the booth. Wow, what an ending. What an ending. What an absolute ending. An absolute ending. <laughs> and I was. I, I was a little distracted because Jolly was amped up, walked in front of the damn shot. Uh, but yeah, fine. it was uh, a game. That was a game of momentum. A blitz ball game was played. You we called it. it. Yeah. There was momentum swings galore. Bases loaded, no outs. But We Got Ice fi finds a way. Here's what I got. Go, go. We Got Ice are going to be able to take that momentum swing and ride it right the way through this yes. whole tournament. I think that's a huge comeback win. That's that's gonna change their whole. That's gonna change their whole tournament. We got ice moves on. I'm gonna leave the booth because I am playing in this next game. You are. I'm playing Love Is. We know what's the best thing to do after you throw 40, 50 pitches. Not sit throw down, 40 call a game, pitches. and get up cold. Better yet, you should go grab yourself a, a drink. Should I get the hook line sinker? I think that's your only way you're gonna get through this. Is is you can get yourself completely painless. I am old. And I will win, Peter. Do you have any okay. last words of encouragement, advice for me? Stay opposite field with your swing approach. Like your dad said, keep that shoulder in and do nothing but try and drive it off that red pole. Thank you, Peter. You got it, buddy. I will see you on the other side. Don't be afraid to throw a slider. Hey, it's me. I'm by myself. And we're going to be here. Jake Storielli's coming into the booth to join. This is going to be fun, folks. Let me tell you something. This little Italian right here. Nobody fires me up more than this little fella. Thank you.
All right, we're going to send it over to Pax. Yes, I'm at another part of Billy's, and I'm here with... Armand. And Monique. And you guys are from? That island. Did it take you long to get here? It took us like an hour, not so bad. Okay, so I see you're in some baggage jerseys, which means you're obviously repping baggage, and you know what this warehouse is all about. What's your favorite warehouse moment? Oh, man. Um, oh, I'm blanking. Uh, it's got to be, oh, uh, Jake's catch off the wall. Like, well, well, actually, no, hang on. Jake's Superman catch off of the pitcher's mound. Yeah, That's yeah. A good, that's a good one. What about you? I, I honestly, I'm like, I draw blanks. I just watch so much of it that it all kind of molds into one. But I just love everything about the warehouse. I'm going to stand for what they do. It's just so much fun, so much fun. Okay, so this next matchup, we've got hook, line, sinkers, and love yous. Who's going to take it? Who you got? It's hard to go against love yous right now. Nikki throws the grossness. Dalton, uh, Dalton's a lanky god. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to go again. But old man Dan, Jolly Olive, slight edge to love yous, I think. Okay. Slight, slight edge. Okay. Who do you got? I have to say love yous. They've had a really great performance. No game yet. We love yous. Okay, there you have it. Let's see who's got this. Back to the new booth. We've got our third game. We got our third game. Peter, it's good to be home. Welcome back. I feel like this feels right. It feels like feels like it should have been this way the whole time. Right. Um, hey, what's going on, everyone? Good to see you. Uh, glad I got to cool off for a minute. Where'd you go? Man, I was just in the booth, kind of sad. Okay. Fair Just enough. in the booth, kind of sad. Uh, I don't know how pitchers do it, man. I don't know how pitchers do it. Right. Um, but I don't know. At least we kind of went down fighting. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. How are you doing? I'm amazing. This is amazing. This event has been incredible. The energy over here, the energy over here is incredible. I don't... I just I didn't never realize that this was going to be something that it turned into and Jimmy's just an absolute <laughs> he's a genius. wizard he's a genius and so is DraftKings we're going to check out the DraftKings bracket as we are on to our second semi-finals game brought to you by DraftKings the hook line sinkers they uh, took down everyone's favorite baggage. They look confident. On the way here on the play-in game, and they will be taking on the one seed, Love Yous, Nikki Cass, Dalton Feely. You see his tush on that camera right there. That's a good tush. When this, Nikki's been fighting the crowd for a little bit. Yeah. He knew he wasn't playing for a little bit, so he hasn't kind of drank in the adrenaline. That first strike, strikeout, home run, He's going to be a Looney Tune. Well, he's already a Looney Tune. I feel exactly. like he hasn't he hasn't shown a lot of nerves like the rest of you guys. I think he's used to dealing with the crowd. You can see him wow. out there just taking some sweet, some free swings. I'll tell you, he needs to watch out his Zach with that camera. He almost took one off the dome. But that's the kind of swing that we're looking to see from Nicky Cass. Dalton Feely just feeling him, feeling him, feeding him. If you will. Feeding him some nice, easy fastballs. The difference is going to be that left-handed sinker that you seem to have a little bit of trouble with. It's... Hey, I, I won't make any excuses. Uh, we, we had our chances. You can. I could. I could. I won't. Um, gave up the game losing Homer. Um, the more you see Dan, and it goes with any pitcher, right? The more you see him. But especially for him, because he's our only lefty. Yeah. So, and, you know, he's got the juices flowing today. So there was some rise. There was some cut. There was some sink. A lot of but, redos. But the more you see it. The more you see that lefty running fastball, the better a shot you got at it. So if Lovius gets on early, I'm worried for hook line. He's, oh, we got, we got the ceremonial first pitch again with Paxton. I'm with the one and only. Nicholas Weisbrod. How are you feeling about throwing out another ceremonial first pitcher, the third one of the day? I'm feeling juiced. I think I'm going to miss the strike zone. OK, well, Pinnock. <laughs> Story Give of the, him the day. Ball. Let's see how he does. Oh. For Nikki Cass. Great job. Back to you in the booth. Let's go. <laughs> also, 
Funny that you offered to give him $1,000 if he hit the strike zone right before that, too. He didn't hear that. Raise, raise the prices a little bit yep. here. Yep. Um, my goodness. that um, The last game, the energy from Lou, the energy from Jack Doyle Lou's, showing emotion. Lou's devastated, obviously. Yes. Lou's a competitor. He hates losing. What do you think about that last ball? Do you think someone's got to call that? We do you know, think? We all know that. Lou's probably the better fielder. Right. The miscommunication was real. You could see the frustration instantly. The problem for Lou is that Joe's is a big unit. Yeah. And he's going to be he able to is. get that reach up. Joe's can't see much if Lou's down there saying, give me the ball. Joe's is locked. You're looking in the ceiling. You've got HVAC. You've got lights. You've got catwalks that you're just looking for that ball. The yellow ball comes down and you're focused on one thing. Oh, my God. Is Joe's okay? No. No, you saw the representation oh, from the whole Bronx. Oh, my God. The Bronx came out, and it was a catch away. It was just a play away. It was just a play, play away. Big fella. Leave it for somebody else. Oh. But you want your moment, too. That would have been a uh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do you do? What, what, do, what you you do? do you do? What do you do? You move on to Love Yous and Hook Line. I think... I think Jolly Olive, he, he messaged everybody for about the last three days and told him that he's going to swing first pitch in the last at bat. Sorry, last game. You saw what happened. Yeah. I feel like that's got to be the approach. You've got to be aggressive. Mickey Cass has got one of the best curveballs that we've seen in this game. Between him and Jack Doyle, no offense, that's the quick. I don't like that pitch. The, th the thing with Jolly is he's kind of in everyone's head. Because it was like, oh, Jolly's going to do some blitz ball stuff. Like, he's kind of into it, whatever. And then he did the first battle, and he had a tough battle for, for a little bit. That's why that moment in two was so special. And then it was kind of, okay, he gets Jimmy. And now all I, I see peak Edgardo Alfonso, but let's see, Paxson, I think, he, I think she's with... The legend himself, Mr. Kenobio. I wouldn't want to. I, I am indeed. I, I actually just pulled him. He has no idea what I'm about to ask him. I want to know the advice that you've been giving not only your son but Jolly Olive. I've been just trying to encourage Dan to, you know, do his best and um, don't let Lou beat you. But, <laughs> but he retoned himself here though uh, in the last game. So. Yeah. You looked a little disappointed there at the last. Uh, Last few pitches off the start, you, you, the hands on the hips, a little frustrated. Was that true? Well, a little bit, but I was just pulling for him. He, Dan, he, he, it came through, though, so I'm, I'm very happy for him. And this is a great venue, by the way. These guys are doing a great job here. Well, you're doing a great job with your son, so we're going to throw it back to the booth and see what they've got going on over there. Couple legends. There's just Couple nothing legends like of the game. The advice from your old man. I mean, he was on the field pregame, giving a couple pointers. He came down between innings, and he was giving some tips on myself. So I don't know how I feel about that. Didn't pay off. I, I could have used some tips. That's fine. I we'll could have used fine. some tips. Uh, as we have less than a minute, Peter Moylan, Love Yous hook line, who do you have? It's tough for me to go past Love Yous, honestly. I think Mickey Cass, he's obviously crept into the top 12 of Blitzball rankings in the world. Yeah. We're talking about a force in the Blitzball game. Can he control the emotions of having to deal with all these collectively getting drunker people right. as we are here? The crowd's getting a little rowdier. I think we got one more Pax and Elrod shot before the game. Apparently Back. down here is gets rather loud. Okay, we've got Nikki Cass, Dalton Feely, Jolly Olive, Dan Canobio. Who do you got in this matchup? I think I got Love Yous. They played incredible in the first few games, and I think they're going to stay there. Okay, I'm going to go a completely different direction with you. What's your favorite JM Warehouse moment? Oh, my God. I have all of them. There's so many. <laughs> so many. I can't, I can't choose. I'm sorry. Maybe the Jolly Olive home run off of no, Baggage? No. Absolutely. Okay. What about you? Do you have a favorite? A favorite play? Just, oh, yeah, favorite player in the warehouse. Let's, let's throw some shade. Gotta go with Zoe, man. He's the spirit of the warehouse. Wow. <laughs> I like that. I like that vibe. Okay. We're feeling good out here in the crowd. Let's throw it back to the booth. We've got another game on our hands, guys. Thank you, Paxton, Elrod. On our hands. 
You have the game in your hands, Peter Moylan. Nicky Cass getting his final warm-ups in. I think he gives the thumbs up. Hell of a job by Justin Pennick, our, our umpire today. And we're going to get it started in Billy's, in the Bronx, our second semifinal game. The winner goes on to the championship game where they will see Jack Doyle, Zoe D'Amelia, the We Got Ice Boys. That's what they're known as. Just hit 200K, by the way. Joe's, Joe's you good? sorry, man. Joe's, we're sorry. Joe's McFly is coming over to the booth. I asked Did you have it? Did you have it? He says yeah. he has that. Did Lou punch you a little bit? No, he bumped into me. All oh, right, right. No fist, though, just a little hip contact. and shoulder. All right. Well, hey, get him. Great crowd shot here in the Bronx. Look Nikki, Nikki Cass and Love Yous takes the mound. Man, it's going to be tough that uh, the Pinstripe Strong crowd was passionate. Let me tell you something. Yeah. We have to, we have to tell these right-handed hitters that there's a singles alley over yeah, there that I nobody know. can field. Okay. I know. Dan Canobio made the opposite field approach and drilled the ball to the left center alley. The young fans just enjoying. Look at that. Noah McFly on the end there. If Jolly can take that same approach, singles alleys is his. Jolly Olive steps in the box. Number zero versus number two, Nikki Cass. And there's the signature slider, Pete. You know anything about pitching? I do know a little bit about pitching. I know that if you can dot this pitch right here, it's going to be really tough for you to pull the trigger because that's going to hit you for 97% of the journey down from his hand to that square. Goes right back to it and misses inside. That's your only hope is that you can take it enough and then he has to go with a fastball because if he keeps throwing that and he's able to locate it, I think it's going to be a long day for everybody in that green uni. And that one, it looked like he went to a little knuckle drop to kind of get that straight downward action on it. It's a 2-1 count. And yeah, the game with Nikki has been, the slider's been so tight and late that it's how do you mix in your other stuff? It's just cut. Is it's that hit? Clipped. It clipped. Yeah, Nick, it clipped the Nikki bottom corner. Nikki says it clipped. Peter says it clipped. Let's get a replay on it. Jolly's not sure. Oh, yeah. What? No, it did. It yeah, hit. It hit. It hit. That's a strike. You can't pull the trigger. You just saw it in real time. And Nikki Cass just snuck another slider in there. And now it's a 3-2 count. He's going to wipe off his hand. Dalton Feely with the, wearing his heart on his cheek. You've done something like that before. Mine's more permanent, and I'm not able to show a lot of people. Cass bounces one with Cass on the mind. And the crowd kicks back into gears. We've got a full count. Jolly Olive, Nikki Cass, what will he go with? Goes to the slider, bangs it down and away, and hook line sinkers, base runner. Dalton Feely trying to calm Nikki down. Is that nerves? Yes, yeah. absolutely it's nerves. How can you not be nervous? Oh, Dan has a specific bat. Yeah. I think they're all the same size and weight. You know what? But when you've gone deep, you lost the bat, why change? I will. It's true. It's true. The, uh, the bats, maybe it's more mental than anything, but in your head, they feel differently. And let's see what Nikki Cass has for Dan Canobio as he throws him ball one. Are you sitting slider if you're Dan? Every single pitch. Yeah. And he tries to bring it back, and he says he does. Dan and Nikki both at the same time reacted to that. Look at the two seam. Oh, my. No that way does that. beautiful. Hit. What? Are you kidding me? It looks like it hit a ghost pipe. Okay, so we've got that as well as that disgusting right. dribble. Well taken, by well taken by Canobio. If that's the two-seamer, that's outside corner. It's the slider. It hits the plate. 2-1. Look at that camera angle. Got his pitch. His old man's going to be absolutely fuming with that swing. I can see his front shoulder fly out from here. Watch this. 
front shoulder, gone. I think that's very similar to the pitch that I threw that ended up in left center field that ended Baggage's season. The 2-2. Good take. I think he's seen that spin pretty good. Nikki liked that one. Is that, it the extra lighting? Because, I mean, that's, a, you know, 10 feet out. That's over the plate. Bounces in there, 3-2. Oh, 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 Peter. <laughs> panic swing. We've seen a couple of those today. That was a complete panic swing. Last minute. Ah, oh, sugar me timbers. I'm trying to keep the language down. Can you tell? I don't have a lot of words to go to that aren't very good swear words, so I'm trying to expand my vocab and keep it clean for everybody at home. Thank Quite you. White. The defensive swing from Dan Kenobio as he tried to stay alive. Jolly Olive comes back up, runner on first, one out. And it's slider heavy. Feels like a modern day reliever. Like one of the, like the Rays came in, told them, you know what, throw 70% 70, 70 slider. Yeah, we have a 95% swing and miss rate on this pitch. And he's hunting the zone a little bit. A little, a little more wild than we normally see out of Nikki Cass. I do like the pants up versus the pants down, though. We do get to see both options on Nikki Cass and Dalton Feely. Mm. And he Jolly, Jolly Olive. Is he scared of Jolly? I mean, there's an argument right now. It, it, outside of what Dan just did to me, feels it's like, been Jolly's tournament on the offensive side. Feels like Jolly's taking a bit of a Zoe approach. 61. Stays inside, 4-0 to Jolly. Yeah, and that a two-seamer he took a little bit off of it. It just misses that top inside pipe. Oh! It's up! It's up! It's oh! up! Oh my goodness! I do not believe what I just saw. I don't know how this is going to be ruled. It went over and came back off that wall back there and came back into play. Jolly puts a charge into it. It goes over. It's in the catwalk. It comes down. It hits the top, top of the home run fence. Top of the, the double fence. They're checking with the crowd. The crowd is pointing. They're pointing to what it hit. Jimmy's initial reaction was Yabo. I'm not sure what that is. And by the way, Jolly Olive swinging 4-0 with the confidence of Why 10 not? men. We've got finger pointing. Paxson's heading out. John Boy, the creator, is looking. It, it cleared your heads. Home run. Oh, home run for Jolly Olive. A two-run homer. That'll make it 2 nothing. I believe the right call was made. Jolly put a charge into that one. The crowd in the homer area said it was over their head, hit and came back. Jolly Olive, I, d I don't know what- From so where I, we were. I can't, I, I just, he's- The kid's the biggest threat in the now? tournament. He's the biggest threat in the tournament. Has he not taken the Zoe approach and just widen out the stance, keep the hands nice and tight to the body? By the way, check that out. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Keep your hands nice and tight to the body and just nice and slow. Oh, oh no. boy. Or not. Single. I believe that's a single from the hook line, guys. Dan Canobio. And now, the two headed monster. Canobio. 4 0 Four and oh in this tournament. I know, I know. And Lovey is, with the one inning games, Lovey has got pushed, I think three swing offs. Not, not calling it Fugazi per se, but it's a two nothing lead for hook line. Okay, and little confident on that one. <laughs> I see you, Jolly, one for you, now one for hook line. Okay. <laughs> the Nikki Cass, and there, I mean 67, that's my fastball, and he bangs it down and away, 0-1. That's unhittable. Right back to it. He's expanded, and now he can just go to Right it. back to it. Now the count changes. You're ahead in the count. You can play with him for a couple of pitches. You can probably throw a fastball middle, middle. He won't swing because he's in take mode. Nikki Cass told the crowd after the two-run shot he was not worried, and that's... That's why. Okay. 
Good comeback. Slider, slider, slider. Hat tip from Jolly Olive. That's a nasty pitch. Two down. Look at the hair on Jolly and look at the hair on that pitch. My God. That's the old uh, knee buckler. What do you do? You just sit what there do and do, do what he did. You do that defensive ugly Canobio swing he struck out on, but he did single last time. And this is massive because with the runner on first, two nothing. Yeah. Two feels so much more attainable than any of the other numbers. That's yeah. one base runner. You're going to get a walk. You're going to get a single. Canobio spits on the slider. You're effectively a couple of missed spots away from a two-run homer. Easily. Easily. You're going to get a base runner. It's yep. blitz ball. I don't know if we've ever seen a one, two, three in it. Brought that one up. Nikki Cass can't believe it missed. It's 3-0. And that's now we're talking. The, now we're talking. And there's the biggest bummer why Pinstripe is out. Woo! These hook line guys. 3-0. You know that Dan was in Vegas last night, right? I do know that. Man. I thought maybe they'd been in a training camp and just come out for this. No. He's still got that fresh air in his lungs, you know? I don't think it's hit yet. Mm. Not that I know. 4-1 to old man Dan Canobio, warehouse legend in his own right. Let's see what Nicky goes with here. Slider grip, chopper, Cassfield. Good play. That's your third out. Gets him on the 4-1 slider. Hook line sinkers has set the tone with two runs on the board. They will need to get three outs between getting them to the championship game or will we see some love you's magic? And if we do, Peter. Yes. With Nikki and Dalton's energy, if there's a walk off, they might bring stuff down. Nikki's out of control. Dalton's got as much energy as I've seen a human being have. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know the DraftKings Sportsbook NFL fans, there's games on right now. There's games on right now. The season is heating up and big plays and even bigger wins. We've partnered up with the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the National Football League, and they have an exciting new offer for you. New customers can bet just $5 and you will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings app now. Sign up using code Warehouse, where we're normally at, people. Warehouse. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with some same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, no problem. You can still get in on the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager. Get 200 in bonus bets instantly. Promo code WAREHOUSE. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Peter Moylan. We have it teed up. Dan Canobio on the mound. Nikki Cass at the dish. Ooh. You see Nikki's jumping. He's already jumping. That's oh, you don't like that. I don't like that. I want to see him just stay calm, stay relaxed. If you're jumpy, you're going to be out in front of everything. We saw it with Dan. We're seeing a little bit with Nikki here. The bats are very light. When you're trusting your hands, you can basically get to anything. That's a good take upstairs. Little, uh, might have been some first pitch jitters. I like the, I like the constant conversation between the bats. That, for me, is the toughest pitch. The one at the little front door. Little the front, front door, door and downstairs. Yeah. Because you need to get the, you need to read it, get the barrel down there. Yeah. It's On the upstairs pitch, you can kind of naturally get up there. That's tough, man. That's that, and then it sinks away from you too. And now it is 2-2. Two, two. It's the lefty. It's just something that they don't see. You don't, it's reps. It's repetition. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and Kenobio just misses low. Check out Dan's dad on every oh, single yeah. pitch. Oh. He is as locked in as any man's ever been at a sporting event. 
Yes, sir. There he is. Dialed the 3 2. Okay, got one 70 more. 70 in low. So, what do you go with now? He said that he's going to drop a slaughter at some point. Haven't seen one Can't yet. Can't do it now. Can't, Can't do, do it, it now. now first, first at bat. You haven't thrown it yet. He hasn't seen it yet. But maybe that's when you do throw it. Oh, oh he didn't need to. What, Nikki? He's just, Dalton begging, says he fouled piece that. Let's watch the replay. Nikki I knows he didn't foul it. I Nikki knows he didn't foul it. I didn't think he got that. Ah, no. oh, he's under that by a half foot. <laughs> oh no, the replay doesn't. Yeah, the replay doesn't yeah. make it look any better. No, no, that's that's alright. Strikeout for Dan Canobio, <laughs> and that's one down of three outs in the inning. Hook line sinkers. What are we watching right now? If he can see, there's a little confidence come back. He was 71, 70. Watch the Canobios. What a shot. What a shot. Doesn't get better. Are you kidding me? Took a little off that That's one. Foul, foul ball. ball. Okay. But see how sinkers were all over it. Absolutely all over it. They feel locked in. Let's see this. Yeah, Dalton gets the end of the bat on it, rolls over it. Just it, see how much movement's in that, too. Yeah. And there's the little cut slider and a wink to someone in the booth. I don't know. It wasn't me. Maybe oh. me. All right. That's something else. Watch this. Little pull the spring. Little, oh, that's going to go away. No, it's coming in on me. Oh, that's, now. You better keep that down. Two thoughts in his head now, though. The one, two. <sighs> Good take by Dalton Feely. Man, that had some late drop okay. on it. Uh, full disclosure, we did talk about grips in here a little okay. bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two, two. Oh, 71. An extra life for Dalton Feely. Hey, Dalton. hey can I tell you something, I would. I wish you would. That is some of the most mixed emotions you can have in that box. Right. Because you've been beat. Far out. But you have a second life. It's almost like my baseball career. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you go buy Peter Moylan's new book. Putting from the rough. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out in 2042, the 3-2 from Kenobio. And there it is. Wow. That was the little cut slider. It popped up 79. I think it was low 60s it's on the, the pitch. Oh, look, the old man. <laughs> oh, I think he liked it. Let's see it. We'll go to the replay. 66, a down and in. Jake, we are. Two down, one out. Or one out away. That's, and that's a good located pitch. You saw Nicky swing at a pitch that was three feet out of the zone on a 4-3, 4-2 count. Oh. Paxton running out, gets the ball. Thank you, Paxton. 1-0 oh. oh to Nicky Cass. Okay. And he, that, that time he tried to throw that little cut, it didn't make it back. Look, if I'm, if I'm Dan Canobio right now, I'm probably not going to let Nicky Cass get anything close to his own. He's antsy. He knows he's the guy that has mm. to make a difference. It's all on Nicky right now. Big swing. You see what I'm saying? Strike that hit the leg, but Nicky Cass swings that, through 68. That strike zone right now is about six inches either side yeah. bigger than it's Nicky anybody wants else's. To hit. He wants to swing. 2 1 from Dan. Huge pitch. Oh and he God. hits the inside pipe. And Peter, as a righty batter, you think that's going to hit you. Yeah. And we've got two strikes. Look, not to throw. Imagine if he can dot that slider out of that same spot right now. It's going to hit him in the back foot and he'll still swing. Kenobio rocks, fires. <laughs> the adrenaline. 70, an easy 73 from Dan Kenobio. Jolly gets the ball, gives it to the ump. Still Nick, room. Nicky Make him Cass. swing. Make him expand. And he, he got him the slider. Love yous. The one seed. And just like that. Four and O. Oh. Hook line sinkers. Feeling like a team of destiny. Strikes out. Nikki Cass on a down and in slider. And I just don't know. We're going to send it down to Paxson, who's there with Nikki Cass and Dan Canobio. Pax. Nick, there was a lot of pressure on Lovius coming into this. 
undefeated, one seed, big upset. What happened out there? It just wasn't our day. Credit to Hookline for showing up. They made the right at bats. They, they put the bat on the ball, and it just it wasn't our day. But we win with class. We lose with class. We're very happy for Hookline. We're happy for everybody who's here who showed up. This has been a great event. We're looking forward to the championship. All right. Let's go. Love that. Now, That's not how we really Dan play. Canobio. No one thought you could do it because you were literally in Vegas yesterday, but you came here, you showed out, you're going to the championship. How are you feeling? I'm hallucinating right now. Where am I? Uh, am I in Vegas right now? No, I'm at Billy's uh, awesome win. Jolly, once again, coming through with a huge home run, and I found something on the mound, a little old man grit. Uh, so, yeah, bring on We Got Ice. All right, well, go ice your arm. Calm down. Back to the booth. Thank you. Paxson, Elrod. This is Jolly's tournament. Hookline, I think their dynamic is a lot of fun because Jolly's here to hit. You can see it. He doesn't want the mound. Look at him. He doesn't want to get near the mound. He's going to hit. Doesn't He's going to field some balls. And by the way, if he doesn't field that ball, that could have been bagged out there. Anyways, <laughs> and that. Peter, maybe we saw, and we might be seeing this in the next couple days with MLB playoffs. The new wild card effect, mm. playing games versus a layoff. Right. Hook line just had Momentum. some at-bats. Momentum. You know, they had what, six, five at-bats against They've us? They've done it in the crowd. They've done it in the warehouse. They've done it at Billy's. And your love yous, you step in, they get out there first to at-bats. Dalton Feely only gets one at-bat today. The pressure of them putting up those two runs in the first top of that inning, it just, just crushed them. It crushed them. On they had one seed. Unbelievable. Nikki couldn't throw a strike. Unbelievable. Uh, get ready for our championship game coming up. We got ice versus hook line. Two innings. We are going to kick it to Pax and Eller. I can't even see. Is she in the crowd? She's Where are you, in the Pax? Crowd. Guys, I'm all the way up here at the top. Who am I standing here with? Colton. Woo, Colton. Where are you from, Colton? New Jersey. Okay, okay. So how has your experience been at the warehouse so far? Or Billy's, might I say. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So you're like having the best time ever. Yeah. Okay, so this next game is the championship. It's a big game. Who do you have winning? Ice. We got ice. You heard it here from Colton. Big fan of theirs? Yeah. Any advice to Jack Doyle or Zoe? Throw good pitches. Okay, throw good pitches. I love that advice. Let's throw it down to the booth for the championship matchup. That's as good as advice as you can offer anybody who's about to go into a championship game like that. You Throw strikes. You've managed a baseball team. Ah, yes. Well, yes. And that advice plays for any ba baseball team. Any baseball team. Come at them. Throw strikes. I will say with Jack Doyle and Dan Canobio, that doesn't seem to be the problem. Two, uh, two ball players that seem to find the slot pretty easily. What's um? God, what's, what's the difference here? The difference here is our final bracket update brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. You saw the play-in game. Baggage versus hook line. Upset of the century. Hook line sinkers wins. Game two, the boys from the Bronx. Pinstripe strong. Goes against We Got Ice. Bases loaded, one out. Couldn't get it done. Heroics from the Ice Boys as they play some ceiling ball. They go to the championship, and then we just saw it again. Hook line sinkers takes down Lovia's in dominant fashion. I, I honestly, I could not have guessed that if you gave me a thousand guesses. I thought that you mentioned it, man. That momentum is a real thing. They've played a couple of games now. This will be their third game in this warehouse. They're ready to go. We are almost ready to go. We've got about three minutes till first pitch. Some early thank yous to everyone watching live with us on the YouTube, everyone watching live at Billy's. Uh, we have so much fun stuff coming up on our Warehouse Games channel between floor ball, blitz ball, ball ball, bowl bowl, minute bowl. Um, I love you. We're streaming for the baseball playoffs. We're going to see you guys every night yep. pretty much on our JM Baseball channel. Hey. And for a championship game, you need championship game fields. I think it's time for some player introductions.
Oh. tournament somehow they took down baggage they took the semi-final game over the one seed love yous one man has been hitting this whole tournament jolly Ali. and on the mound old man Dan Old man Dan. Together they make up the hook line sinkers. You saw them take down Pinstripe Strong in the semifinal game. We know them as Jack and Zoe. You may also know them as We Got Ice, Zoe and Jack Doyle. Hey, Pete. Hey, welcome back. What intros. Well done. You're a man of many talents, just, i got to tell you. I just watched a lot of sports. Yeah. It's kind of it. Fair enough. Um, Paxson, we've got another in our last first pitch of the day. We've got the championship game. First pitch, Brian. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah, you ready for this? <laughs> yep. I'm okay, ready. Pinnock, give him the ball. <laughs> oh. I want to hear everyone yelling, lose your voice, cheer, this is the championship, let's go! Championship game feels in Billy Sports Bar in the Bronx. Jack Doyle is getting warm on the mound. Sure uh, is. Getting warm in here too. Some say kind of the signature blitz ball pitcher. Do you think, and I do personally think this, I'm asking you the question. Right. I think that that first game is going to really get rid of some of the nerves that Jack may have felt. I think we'll see a different guy, a more locked-in pitcher in this game. We've, we've seen it a decent chunk with Jack, and I, I don't know if it's just belief in his pitching because yeah. he is one of the best blitzball pitchers in the world. Um, Sometimes it takes him a minute to settle in, yeah. but there's never the sense of panic. And that could be personality, that can be confidence in his stuff. But yeah, we saw him lose a couple of the pinstripe batters early. I expect him to be throwing strikes. What we did see, though, was a man that was able to come back, and we saw some emotion, some raw emotion from him last game that was something that we don't see often. But that's the real difference. This means a lot to these guys. And speaking of means a lot to us, I think we've got a special hey, treat for everybody. Can everybody hear me? Sano. We good? Uh oh. This is hey, listen. Beautiful. This is the championship game. We've all been here all day long. This is the loudest we gotta be. So let's get the bongos going. Let's get everybody up there and let's go. Yeah. Come on. What a moment when MLB meets WWE. Here we are. <laughs> 
The only October ball being played in the Bronx this year. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Jack Doyle lets his final warm-ups rip. Jolly Olive will be ready to step in and create more chaos, and that's all Hookline has done this entire day today. The college buddies of Zoe and Jack versus the cerebral Jolly Olive and Dan Canobio. I think we're doing it. Let's do this. Here we go, dude. Championship game. Hey, good luck. Good luck to Let's you. Good luck to We Got Ice. Good luck to Hookline. The first pitch. Dotted. Ball low. I believe that hit the leg. Jack Doyle wants to see the replay. I would too. To Seamer. Did we get clippage? We want to see that replay again. It didn't. Here we go. Oh, leg. I think that's leg. Ooh, I think Joel that's is leg. Confidently saying that's let's leg. Go. Look at the replay angle. Shout out to our whole replay crew and booth. We have, you've seen a lot of people today. You haven't seen half the people that have been helping put this on. Ooh, and Jack Doyle, that'll be a redo. 71 miles per hour. 70, 71, 72 is a redo. 73 and up, auto ball. So that'll be a redo. It's 1-0. And the Olive Hive raises up. Doyle drops down and keeps it low. What are you seeing from Jack? Pete? Seeing just a guy that hasn't been able to find that consistent release point with anything. He's normally so good at being able to lock in. 2-0, you know, Charlie wants to swing. If it's close, I think we're getting a daddy hack. That's the pitch that I feel like is really tough to pull the trigger on. We've seen a guy with a lot of movement without to get it in there. And what makes that pitch even tougher is it's not necessarily sweepy. It's kind of on the inside corner and stays there that you don't, Can't you're not getting trigger. a read on it. Oh, 70 on the nose, they'll redo it. And that's a man that can normally spot a 69er whenever he needs mm. it. Unfortunately, that adrenaline, the crowd's got him a little too fired up, 70 miles an hour, we got ourselves a redo. The 2-1 pitch. And he's been low, he's been low. I don't know if that's part of the scouting report with Jolly, if they're gonna be scared to bring it up. Um, let's see, 3-1. Every pitch has been lower. Comes up with that one. We think that caught the bat from Jolly's did, reaction. I think it did He's too. not fighting it. Let's take a little glimpse here. Look it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that catches the handle. So that'll be a strike, a freebie for We Got Ice. Well, or my, maybe you just made a good pitch. Yeah, that's true. That's the hitter in me speaking. Right. <laughs> yeah. Woo! 70 on the slider. And Kenobio loses track of the count, and that's obvious. That's fine. That's he's, fine. In Kenobio's head, he's already on the mound. It's been a red eye. It's a full count. That's. And he leaves it behind him. I mean, there's current. There's a fear factor with Jolly right look, now. Look, I don't want to say anything, but people seem to be pitching around Jolly. Dan Kenobio has a new approach. It's all about keeping that front shoulder tucked. By the way, check that out. Oh. Yeah, front shoulder tucked and stay opposite field. Ooh, Ooh. that was a rising two-seamer from hell. That was at his hip and That's it ended nightmare. up over the zone. That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Look at that shot. What a crowd here at Billy's. Jack Doyle, the 1-0 to Dan Canobio. Ooh. And he, he came a little more over the top to try to get that rise and it just missed the bottom pipe. I haven't been counting, but it feels like he's thrown one strike. Yeah. And there's one, and Canobio puts a good swing on it, fouls it off. Got to find Mr. Canobio. He still did pull himself out a little bit. It's really hard to keep those hands inside and try and drive that ball the other way when it's so good to just try and pull the, the jonkers out of it. New word, don't know what it means. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> and that's... uh. That's Jack Doyle in a nutshell, isn't it? You Just, know, oh, oh, I oh. guess the equivalent to me for that would be what hitters are worried about with robo-umps. 
If you could kind of hit whatever that is, that's a problem. 2-2. Knuckle drop from somewhere out of space. Are you kidding me? A knuckle drop from the heavens. The crowd wants the replay. It goes out of screen almost. Oh, no. How do you swing at that? That's why he's number four in the world, folks. That right there. I was just going to say, that pitch to lefties is so devastating. And now. And look who's back. <laughs> and Guess who's back. Wow. You know how good that knuckle drop was? Yeah. Mr. Canobio gave a smile. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Comes across his body. Look at this, look at this. Look at the conversation between the two of them. He's oh like, hey, God, that was a pretty good awesome. pitch, huh? Yeah. Hey, Ooh. let's put that one behind us, yeah. huh? Can't do that three times. If you can, we're in trouble. 1-1. <laughs> <laughs> <Top> of the first. <sighs> He's not even, it's not even fair when he gets in this mode. You don't even have a read on it, and then it just tucks in. By the way, he's great in the booth, too. He's, he's a funny guy. He's a fun guy. He's a funny guy. The one-two pitch, runner on first. <gasps> Jolly, <laughs> almost lost his mustache. Ooh, hello. A close shave from Jack Doyle and Jolly Olive as that misses that top right corner. Oh, let's go ice sign. The two-two. That's a good swing. Protection and swing. Jolly Olive stays alive. That's Th not the man I saw at last blitz ball. That, no. His no. content's getting better. His swing's getting better. The, some of the stuff coming out of him right now is just amazing. And that could have hit the outside pipe, and Jolly fends it off. Let's see what Doyle goes with here. Oh. Comes back, fouls it off, but into the strike zone, which will be strike three. Two outs. Jack Doyle has struck out the last two batters. He seems to have found something, hasn't he? And he's really fallen in love with that pitch because he basically falls to the third base side so he can throw it more uh -huh. this way, but it also gets more run. It's science. It's simple science. And that's all I know. Although I do get in trouble when my momentum, momentum went away, but he's just such a talented blitz ball player. <laughs> And that looked like a little quick pitch from Doyle. Uh, everyone, including Dan Canobio, wants to see a replay of that. 68. 68 yeah. inside pipe. It feels like it's all working. Right. And I feel like he's got options to go to now. This will be down and away. Or up and away. Speed! 71 on the pitch. That'll be a redo. The... Fake signs, whatever catcher lives in Jack Doyle's head, is putting down. This one's a good He's one's in down. love with all of them. Yep. He's in love with all of them. The and fingers are hot. Oh, that's again. He's just, that's Canobio if you're going to get him. It feels like everybody has a weak spot inside. Do they not? That's the tough one. He looked like he looked like he's right on it. Though. That was a good swing. That was a good swing. But in the back of your mind, where does he go? Is he going to go somewhere else? Is he going to? I mean, if I'm Jack, I'd waste one away. Oh damn! See, see, I wanted him to set up that pitch because when he throws that backdoor sliders to lefties, it's unhittable. If he pipes it, it comes from an unhittable angle. He can do whatever he wants. He can. We haven't seen the knuckle drop again. He's thrown one of those. That's true. <laughs> Why wouldn't you go to it here? Biggest pitch of the game. Nope, he's not doing it. Oh, he went the... I believe that'll be a redo or maybe even a ball. Let's see what speed pops up on the monitor here. Gets his body behind it. 74, that's an automatic ball. Okay. Do we have any problem with the fact that there was a skip and the leading of the pitcher's plate? You know, it's been a level of controversy. Mm. Um, Why is he not going with the knuckle drop? Why, is he Why would you not throw that pitch? It's unhittable. You've had two pitches to play with. It was 2-2. Two, two. Now 3-2. You could throw it here and have another one to play with. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. 3-2. That's and that's disgusting. why oh, Jack oh. Doyle. The old man will not like that. <laughs> the old man will not like you throwing it. Oh, he did like it, though. It An impressive matter. outing. Well done. By Jack Doyle from We Got Ice.
as that closes off a scoreless top of the first inning. We will be playing two innings for this championship game here at Billy's in the Bronx. Canobio will fire it up. And what's interesting to me here. Yes. They had to play two games before this. Yeah. Do you think that now the momentum switched to pain? Dan, <laughs> I don't think he'll be feeling anything as long as this game goes, unless this first inning is extremely taxed. Okay. If you're Dan, you can't have a 45 pitch inning here. Um, like, I'm not saying you'd rather give up runs necessarily. Warm ups look good. Warm ups look good so far. It's clipping the zone. Joe's out there yeah. fixing it again. Joe's doing an odd amount of. Yeah, why is he sitting on the couch and relaxing? Slightly helpful stuff. Right. Just to get involved, I think. Yeah. I think he, he knows he's, he, we're live, so yeah. he's trying to get on camera as much as he can. Maybe. A nervous energy in the crowd as old man Dan steps up against Lorenzo D'Amelia to start this bottom of the first inning. Here okay. we go. That tells me that he's, he's not feeling any nerves. In the words of Peter Moylan, hello. Hello. You know? Mm, I do. 0-1 oh, on the patented Canobio two-seam fastball. And the slider. See, he's got confidence in that pitch. Yeah, there. that was interesting. It looked like he almost had a change up -y type grip on it. I think he's just trying to take a little bit off a of fastball, just, but he's okay. throwing something else other than that two-seamer, which gives somebody else something else to think about. Slider. And that was the little cut slider. Yep. yep. Zo wants to see a replay. He's got a big smile on his face. I think Zo wants to see that pitch again. See, he's, and he probably does because if he can Ooh. recognize it, he's going to get a good swing off. But if he can go with that two-seamer front door, Zo's done. Uh. Oh, that was it. He went I'm for it. I'm thinking along with Dan here a little bit. Kept it low. Would have been too fast anyways at 72, but Zo had a good read on it. I think it's still there, though. You can still get it. 2-2 two, two from 2-3. Two, he went down and in. And God, I think we're gonna get a replay of that again. He choked like, up a little bit. He went yeah. with the three fingers. And if you go back and watch our game, I did give him a little tip on how to throw something other than a fastball, and it seems to be working. Because that's 61 miles per hour. It's which... a changeup. Let's call it a changeup. Let's call it what it is. It's a changeup. Wow, Dan Canobio. Who said you can't teach an old dog new tricks? And he comes up top to Jack Doyle, and that's a dangerous spot to live. You Not put it. It's got a fair bit of movement up in the zone, though, but I think the best you can do is probably foul that off. My concern would be a barrel on that here. We saw it during batting practice. There's not a lot stopping in here. Okay. A couple of check swings that went out. And he's mm. looked like that same grip, although he ripped that one a little harder at 68. 1-1 one, one count. I just love the fact that he's throwing it enough to give them, as I said, something to think about. Looks like his father has assimilated with the Bronx Pinstripe Strong crew that rolled in. I like that for him. Good energy over there. 2-1. <gasps> okay. 58 from Canobio. Turned it over a little bit. Busting out all the tricks. Why not? Didn't Championship game. Did see the arm shake? Got a little bit of an arm yeah. shake there. That's little, the uh, some loose bodies in there. Maybe. Oh, make the play foul ball. Oh, it's a comeback in. Oh, <laughs> hits the fence foul. <laughs> Smart play though. We've seen some spins in yeah. warehouse history. That's what I love. I it, love the fact that people are learning. He's riding the fence. Three, two, Kenobio. Drops down, and we've got a bit of a battle on oh, our hands. I love this. This is the. This is exactly why you come and watch this. Battles like this. Unsung heroes, Dan Canobio. They'll do the three-two again. He's going with that Peter, again. what have you done? I've unlocked something. I'm so sorry. What to everybody have you else. done? I've unlocked something. This is another changeup. 
Out in front, just beautiful, beautifully executed. He's out in front, swinging for 68. And he's still got a little bit of that And that two ball's just got enough run and sink to it. And now we've got two outs, nobody on base. Dan comes inside and that stayed in. This is a man that's running on the adrenaline of the energy of Vegas and this, this Billy's bar right now. Not a lot of sleep going on. Huh. Been there. <laughs> Chokes up on one, 69 but low. And Lorenzo D'Amelio ahead in the count. So Two. he's gonna be mad at himself. And you know what? Obviously, we're trying to score runs. Analytics guy over here. Right. But for each of the ice boys to get a second at bat, I think would be big too. For Zoe to get on whatever way that is, and to have Jack Doyle see Dan again, whatever that leads to. I would agree with you if Dan was still just throwing one pitch. Mm, okay. I feel like the addition of a couple, whatever they are. Okay. Okay. The 4-0. Normally. And hey, pitching around Zo. Hey, five Look pitch walk to Zo seemed unintentional. We got ice fans wow. a bit nervous. Wow. Rightfully so too, I think. I feel like this at bat dictates the game. Does Canobio continue to look dominant on the mound? That's six straight balls from Dan Canobio now. Maybe a, maybe a it, visit from Jolly Olive here. Love Jolly to check in. It hasn't felt wild. It just hasn't felt like strikes. And he puts a charge into it. Ceiling ball ends up landing foul. How you doing? No, I can see that. Give it a bit of a shake. Hey, maybe a meeting between the two of you. Talk things out. <laughs> so there was a 71 that registered pre-pitch. So we're going to throw that out. I think it was definitely. It was before the pitch. No, nah, it, was, it yeah. was before the pitch. It seemed like the velocity was fine. We can tell. Yeah. I've seen a lot of pitches. Not a redo. Are we doing a redo? Redo. redo. Ah, we had. That's unfortunate. Pre pitch. So they are going to redo it. Both sides agree. We'll go back to a 1 0. And hey, sometimes the blitz ball gods are fair. The ball doesn't lie is a saying I like to use. Sometimes it does. But God. in the moments where it doesn't, I like to say that. Dan is doing a fantastic job of living on the edges. Doyle fist one off. Oh, he made the play. That's an out. Or a it single. Hit the, hit the wall. Ball. That's going to be a single. Ooh, it that's was in the air. That's right. In the air off the bar is still in play. That. Tough rules. Look at this. Hit the wall and an immediate single. And it got a really cute hop off the it metal did. barrier. But yeah, it's just like our warehouse when a ground ball hits that wall. It's that good effort by Dan. And I appreciate it's him a not good effort. putting his face into the bar and yeah. potentially hurting and ruining the career. Those knees got low. He's ready. Runners on first and second. And look at that. We were nobody on. Nobody on. And they've seen him a few more times. You might be right, Jake. You Nobody know. on. There are two outs. Yeah. Both base runners have reached Lorenzo D'Amelia. Is there anything sexier than a two-out rally? Huh. Two-out punchy. <laughs> Kenobio comes in the kitchen. 64 on that one. Zo trying to get his bearings on that lefty run. The 1-1, one, one. 55. That was that one. Ooh, Jimmy let out, that's a fatigue pitch. Ooh. I guess something to track as we go on into this two-inning finale. Dots a 69er right here in the inside corner. He's throwing everything, he's throwing everything. Kitchen sinking him. 3-1 count. The last two pitches under 60, which <laughs> In a major league game, the, I think the pitching coach will be sprinting out. But there it is. He just finds it whenever he wants. There it is. The high fastball gets D'Amelia jumpy. Feels a little bit like his Harris moment here. He needs to find some snot, some sweat, some something to get some spin on this ball. Ooh. That's a good take. What a take. That's a good take. The inside cut slider 
If that's the normal two-seamer, that's bottom pipe and the inning's over. We haven't seen two-seamer yet. No, not a true one. Full count, two on, two outs. There it is. Oh, wow. Wow. Zo spits on it. Just missed. What a take. Look at this pitch. This looks like strike, 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 strike. Oh! And the reaction from Canovio says it all. And now. He's back. Base is loaded. Jack Doyle, Dan Canobio. Jackson first, swing mode. First pitch, up and away fastball. Doyle's up there to hit. He's in swing mode. Doyle. Number four in the world. Let me prove it I'm right gonna, here. I'm going to bet Jack Doyle does not walk here. It's 0-1. Man, and that looked like he came a little more over the top. A little wristy curveball from Canobio. 1-1 one, one pitch. Okay, well, now, this is when the nerves start to creep in. I've got to be honest with you. If you're in a big game like this, there's a big crowd, there's people everywhere. You've gone to 2-1, and one, you've got to make this pitch. You go 3-1 here, you are starting to get a little dribble on the inside. Whoopsie. <gasps> Doyle puts a charge into it. Where is it? Oh, singles no! alley. <laughs> Where does it land? It's either a single or a double. It's a double. Let's check the replay on it. A tough break for hook line. Let's see where it drops. Canobio comes in on it. It looks like it's it looks like it's past the mound. Do we have any other angles of it? My my initial is my initial leans double. Let's see if we get a final ruling down here on the field. It looks like their feet are heading kind of. I think it's a double. A double for We Got Ice puts two runs on the board. Peter, I tried to tell you. Two you outs, did. nobody on. You did. Five pitch walk turns into a rally, and now it's two nothing for We Got Ice with Zoe for a chance to make the lead even bigger than that. Boy, do the hook line boys need an out. Fastball away. A lot of the energy's been sucked straight out of hook line. I mean, with one swing here, you can put hook line fully back against the wall. So oh, just looks at the bat, can't believe it. Disbelief. How did I miss We're that? We're playing blitz ball in a bar, and he's shocked he didn't hit that for a home run. I mean, he's just, he just never, he's just never off. 2-1. Oh. 147. Oh. You hit that once in Australia, right? I did, kilometers, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a hell of a serve. Thank you. 2-1. Fastball stays inside from Dan. Trying to get that two seamer to run back. Haven't seen the upper 60s since we saw the 50s. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and this is what I was worried about. This is a long inning. Yeah. If hook line comes back, Dan's going to have to come back out there. Goes at him. So is in shock again. There must be a lot of movement on that, but late movement. It's late. Yeah. It's late movement. Because I think that's where the <laughs> we count. Oh, you can't Bob Canobio. You can't watch. Give me another he drink. He walks away. He heads Give me to another the bar. Drink. Three, two, a huge pitch for hook line. Zo just ignoring that pitch. He must see something. There must be a tell. Canobio I, must be tipping. I know he drops down a little more, but it's it's four, two, full count. And Zo takes it, and we've got bases loaded again. Feels like the We Got Ice boys have taken it to another level. I've got to be honest with you. Jolly's favorite moment is the base is loaded. Feels like the game is in the balance here. Slider turns on it. That'll be a single. Another run will score. It's 3 nothing. We Got Ice. There's certain moments in a game where if it goes one way or the other, it feels like a total momentum swings. Call them break points, call right. them whatever you want. That felt like one of them, you're right. And it felt like it went to We Got Ice. The crowd will get behind Kenobio to try to get him out of this inning. 
That's nice. That hit. That hit. That hit. 0-1 from Canobio. I mean, if he keeps it here, they're not out of it by any stretch. No way. Not um, the way Jolly's swinging it. Not, not the way Dan can run into one at any point. And if I'm, if I'm Dan, it feels like I've gotten just a little too far away from my go-to pitch. This oh. is, I feel like you're calling me out for that. I <laughs> that feels like a personal attack on me. The last game, it was masterful. The first two hitters of the inning, it was masterful. I don't think they're here without that advice. I just, it's a great point. Oh, and now we're, the dads are distracting themselves. 1-1. One, one. Ball stays low, 66 miles per hour. I think Dan needs a little crowd juice to get him going. Some different juice behind the bar. I tried one of those earlier. Very nice. Mm. That's the Zoe expansion that we haven't seen. And that's what Kenobio can do for you. When, when you're waiting for that one pitch, inside is a game of chicken. How far inside of it? When it's away, it's another game of chicken. Or is it the straight one that he's now got? Gets the crowd into it. 2-2. Two, two. Goes Adam Zoe gets a piece of it, fouls it over the strike zone. What we've seen here is basically a pitcher's year. Dan's had to reinvent himself three times in this tournament to become three different pitchers to try and get three outs, two outs at some point. He goes to the slider, Zoe turns on it, and it's 4 nothing. we got ice. Just hit him where they ain't. This was two outs, nobody on. I know, you said it. I, I, I've got to give you massive credit for that. Blitz ball, you give an inch, they take a mile. Oh. First pitch from Canobio catches Doyle in the ribs. Bases remain loaded. This will be the end of the inning either way. We do have a five run mercy rule. Doyle puts a swing on it and it ends up foul. foul Everybody ball. okay over there? It looks like, oh. oh. Tu sabe, tu sabe. <laughs> a scream from the crowd. I think everyone does sign waivers when they come in here. Good, good for us. Canobio loosens up the back, it's 1-1. One, one. Ball, low. Another thing to look out for, Peter. It's a game of momentum. If you do get this out in a game that does have a five-run mercy rule, when you leave that sliver, whew, Jack Doyle takes away as it doesn't come back in. You feel like if it's a small victory? It's the smallest of victories. You can win, you don't just tie. You I've, have a chance to win. I've seen fours matter. The weak out ice crowd is strong. 3-1. Oh, and a bounce. 4-1, and Canobios, you might as well throw a strike here. A walk would be a mercy. Canobio rocks, fires, comes at him. Doyle sends one into the crowd <laughs> for Schlitz and Giggles. What a way to end it. And the we got ice boys assert their dominance in the bottom of the first. That's exactly what they did, isn't it? And the crowd seems to think Jack Doyle is going for MVP, but the real MVP is the DraftKings Sportsbook. NFL fans, it's happening right now. I cannot wait till there's a point where I'm on the couch today watching a little football and the season's heating up with big plays and even bigger wins. We're partners with the DraftKings Sportsbook, you know that. Official partner of the National Football League and they have an exciting new offer. New customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. It's that simple. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Sign up using code WAREHOUSE. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlays. Combine multiple bets for the same game for a shot and even bigger payout. If sports betting, is not yet available in your state, it's no problem. You can still get in the action with DraftKings Daily Fantasy Sports. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WAREHOUSE. Bet just $5 on any wager. Get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WAREHOUSE only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Peter. Jake. Three outs for Jack Doyle. With a five run cushion with the maximum cushion. Mm. So hook line can push this to the bottom of the second. They are gonna need to rally. Feels like a, a why not us moment for sinkers though. Hey, 
Get that first base runner on. Oh, and Jolly. Wasting no time. Not a strike he doesn't like. First pitch has been his friend, let's face it. He's turned his offense around. Not a strike he doesn't like. Jolly Olive, 0-1 as Doyle. Uh-oh. Peter? Uh-oh. Oh, sugar, this is a good pitch. It's <laughs> tough to pull. Look at look at the reaction That's from Jolly. Sidearm. He's got four pitches to play with. It's Rising over. Knuckle drop. sinker. He tried the knuckle drop. You see him go to it in his hand. He must not like that pitch, because why? It's been the pitch of the, the day so far. Feels inconsistent. Maybe that's why he doesn't like it. One, two. And he Jolly. gets Jolly Olive over the top. We got Ice Inches one step closer to Blitz Ball Blitz. That's what Superior. Jack Doyle does to you. He can right. dot it, and then he can make you expand. It, it's almost like if you see something, you want to go for right. it because you have a chance. Exactly. 1-0 to Kenobio. You also do know that if you can land that knuckle drop at all, you're in big trouble. I realize we're not a moral victory. Jesus. <laughs> I didn't sign a waiver. Peter, are we okay? I'm fine. Dan Canobio. I would have lost my teeth, <laughs> but. The bat slips out of his hand. <laughs> it hits our lighting, thank God. Oh boy. You know. All right. Full. That's what lack of sleep will do. Yeah, crouch behind this. We're one, fine. one. We're hiding now out of fear. Oh. Canobio puts a charge on he it. He did it again. Peter. <laughs> What did I tell you? I was just about to, when I was saying moral victories and he threw a bat at us, I said, how good would it feel if he was going to go yard? <laughs> That's what, hey, way to, way to give yourself advice. He could see he was a little aggressive with the bat flip and came back and said, oh, I'm going to try and go the other way, and he does it beautifully. You don't normally see the pre-homer bat flip. but that's kind of what he did. Let's see it. Let's see it. And now the crowd. Feeling the juice a little bit. Oh, message sent. Message received. Not not noils. Not what? Not nerves sneaking in. The crowd like energy's a real thing. The crowd like that home run. And a crowd always likes hope. And if Jolly can get on, the math formula gets just a little bit easier. Just a little bit easier. Jolly steps out. 1-1 one, one count. Knuckle no drop, runners knuckle on. Drop, knuckle drop. Peter. That is up and away. That's going to hit the DraftKings sign. You as can't a, pull as, the... You cannot a, swing at that. He's got to throw it again. He's got to throw it again. Nope. <gasps> Okay. Standing it back. I want to see the replay on that. Oh. <laughs> That's my replay. Yeah, you swung. Hands bat. Hands bat. Um, no, hands bat. Good. Let's Foul. see the replay here. Yeah, you're good. Foul. You're good. Foul ball for Jolly Olive. Look at the intensity. Oh, check swing. We've seen check swings go. So it'll be a one-two count. Jolly Olive steps back in. Doyle with 10 pitches to play with. Goes, slider, up, two outs. We Got Ice is an out away from being the potential First ever Blitz Ball Blitz champions. Only one out between them and victory. Wow. He's feeling good, Peter. He feels better than good at the moment. He's confident. He knows he's got a big lead. Worst that can happen here is a 5-2 game. He's just pumping strikes. 0-1. 
Kenobio. Oh, oh. bubble. That's. Hey. Go. Hey. Go. Kenobio puts a good swing on it. Ball, ball stayed low. Zoe put his body down on it. He blocked it. Unfortunately, he did not field it cleanly. How much of that is a new surface for Zoe? He's so used to the warehouse. Well, and it's it's something when the ball stays low that actually makes it a little trickier because you need to pick it clean. Yeah. So if it's down there, it never comes up. Hook line gets new life. That's a 71, redo. that'll be a redo. And there was a, a funny look on Jack Doyle's face after that one. I think that was an adrenaline 71. He was shocked it was anywhere close. This is a bigger bat now. Oh, jolly, I'm gonna have to see. Let's see the replay. It was 71. I would have run you up on the swing, but it's a I think a redo, redo. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like he crossed home plate Definitely. there. 1-0 from Doyle, look at the focus. That was Jolly's pitch. We got action over here. That was Jolly's pitch. 69. Oh, I think I just saw him say, uh, not to take Jimmy's job off him, but I think I saw Jolly just say, I got him. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. Oh, wow. I don't think. 1-1 one, one count. Doyle in his bag. Jolly Olive. And hook line. There's a chance. Is not dead yet. Runners on first and second after the Jolly Olive single. Listen to what you just said. Again, Jolly Olive, again. He's been an absolute offensive juggernaut this whole tournament. He's a menace, absolute menace. Give us a finish. Doyle tries to backdoor the slider, it's one and oh. We have the tying run on deck. The crowd with a little extra juice right now. Jack, uh-oh, no, I'm not gonna say uh-oh. I just mean, you know, he went from guy dotting everything to guy 2-0 and oh against a guy that's feeling pretty confident with his opposite field approach. Easier said than done, but you gotta be thinking inside out. That's what's worked for Dan all day. That's a good pitch. He takes that inside 66 miles per hour. Doyle gets himself back in account. The nice slider hits the inside pipe. 2 0, you're not. Uh, have that's you not the, the inside pitch pipe? you want. <laughs> I am the inside pipe. 2 1. That's and the that one that's one, left in. That one just never came back, yeah. and it's 3 1. I said it earlier, I'm not sure if it was with you, but you've got to make the hitter make a decision. There's just those waste pitches yeah. that don't force a decision. It's true. It's true. The 3 1. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Woo. Two seamer from hell. Unbelievable. It's at Kenobio. And that opposite field approach is of the hardest. You can't do anything with that pitch. And now it's one strike away for We Got Ice. And that's twice now. He tried to throw the slider and it just didn't come back. Well, if you're Kenobio, you know what his bread and butter is. You know what he's been able to go to twice without even a, a question. Are you looking for something inside here? Or is Jack a content guy? Could the knuckle drop oh, come oh, out? No way, right? Dare. No don't way, you right? Dare. I think that's, the, the foul pole says that's a foul ball. Oh, can we check in with the foul pole, Let's please? Let's see if we can get a replay on it. 70 on the pitch, we Kenobio puts a charge into it, and yeah. that's a foul ball, yeah. accurately called by the foul pole. Nice job, foul pole. Wow, full count. Kenobio puts a great swing on it. Well, might as well do it again. Knuckle. Oh, he freezes him! He freezes him! A down and in slider! We got ice! Is your first ever Blitzball Blitz champions! I squeaked! 
You did. I squeaked. Yeah, well, it was a perfect pitch. We were looking for that comeback two-seamer on the inside corner, and Jack goes the one-knuckle drop-down slider and absolutely dots it on the inside corner. What a performance by We Got Ice once again. Just the cream of the crop here at Blitzball. So heads into the crowd to celebrate with the fans. We Got Ice, what a performance by Jack Doyle, Lorenzo D'Amelia. Incredible, that final pitch. Down and in cutter. The slider wasn't sliding. I wonder if that factored in because it didn't move a ton, but it landed in the perfect spot. Freezes Dan Canobio. He must have seen spin and expected a lot more movement and unable to pull the trigger, but what a tournament by the sinkers. Well done, fellas. Great effort. Incredible effort by the hook line sinkers. I think we're gonna send it to Paxson down on the floor with the champions, We Got Ice. Yes, I am with the champions. First banner in the warehouse, Jack Doyle. How are you feeling right now? Are you here with us? Mm, partly. Okay. okay. Yeah, good, feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> yes. That's all we got, okay. So, walk me through that game. You guys were defensively, offensively just locked. I was not defensively locked. I was pooping my pants in the outfield. <laughs> I kept going to Jack and I was like, yo, please strike him out. I'm not gonna make a play. This is so awesome. Thank you guys for coming out. It's amazing. MVP, back to you guys in the booth. It's, uh, Peter, I often, I'm up late night sometimes texting you and wondering what's real. Yeah. Today was real. <laughs> it sure was. What a, what a, from the minute I walked in here, I could tell this was gonna be something special. All of this special day was due to DraftKings Sportsbook being partners with us. We cannot thank them enough. We have so many people that worked behind the scenes to help set this up. Uh, we've got a crew in the corner over there. I think Zach's got the shot right now. Um, that crew, everyone here, give it up. To set this up is no joke, people. It's, we didn't flip a camera on and just run it. We had help. I'd say 30, 40 people, no joke, no joke. Um, and none of this happens without them. So a thank you to the John Boy Media crew. A thank you to Billy's and Joey for allowing us to do this. Peter Moylan, ladies and gentlemen, flew in always Zach, always nice. Zach. So hot, so hot right now. We had guys on stats. And we got to give it up. There's a crowd here today. There's a crowd here. There's a crowd here today. What a that difference came it out. made, too. There's a crowd that came out here today to watch us live. If you watch at home, thank you. If you've watched any of our stuff, thank you so much. We've got so much more coming. I think that's about it. Really? Just keep the camera on. Let's see what happens. Keep the camera rolling. Maybe. Maybe we'll just live stream this until the rest of time. Hey, thank you everybody for watching DraftKings. You're amazing. This has been absolutely insane. A shout out to my guy, the John Boy. None of this happens without him. Thank you so much, everyone. From Billy's in the Bronx. Next time we'll probably see you from the warehouse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do it again soon. I'm back, I'm in.